You're listening to Band Practice with Matthew and Krebs. Rock out with your cock out. Cock out. Cock out. Cock out. Cock out. And we're here with the Viking. Fan fucking fantastic. How you doing? Get closer and say hi. How you doing, guys? Hi. So that that's the Viking. He's got the beard <laughs> to go with it. He's but like he's like at least two of me, so thank you, I'll take that. He's I have to eat babies for sustenance, so it's <laughs> a requirement to maintain this body weight. I think I think uh, you're probably at least two and a half creps. <laughs> um, <laughs> by the way, Kreps is a standard measurement. Um, yeah, so, uh, among no our group fire of friends. is deployed. And, Which uh, country uses this measurement? Uh, our group of friends. Uh, okay. A lot of the guys I was in the service with that know him now. Uh, <laughs> I always weigh 155 no matter what. So. so we always talk about how much we squat and I deadlift. I used to use dead strippers. So we're going to say one Kreps instead of one dead stripper. Yeah. That's about 145 pounds. Is that about accurate? Yeah. I'm 155. Okay, so we're, we're close. Strippers are 145? I don't, Sometimes. We're talking about I need to put on weight. Girls, it depends know, the on the B squad, C squad, D squad. Sometimes, you know. Where oh. you're going and how much you have to spend. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so the Viking wanted to come on. I don't know why, but. Yeah, I, uh, I watched a few episodes and uh, I kind of laughed my ass off. And again, I was intrigued. And, uh, <laughs> being a uh, podcast aficionado, I had to. Uh, can I try ask, and insert myself, you know. Like, can I ask which? Like, oh man, you know, like, uh, uh, fuck, a lot of Joe Rogan stuff. I mean, you guys, it, it made me laugh just as much, if not more. So I was like, fuck, I was intrigued. Um, you know, I listened to, uh, of course, Red's episode. That was fucking hilarious. <laughs> he had one line in there that had me dying in absolute stitches. I can't remember now. Something about nipples. I don't know, cybernetic nipples of some sort. <laughs> probably. That sounds like yeah. all red. That's like red. red. I mean, yeah. How do you even get to that? Really, they, that guy's a trip. I don't. Had him on twice. Now. Yeah, and we didn't we didn't expect you by the way. Like he yeah. wasn't a planned thing afterwards. It was so funny when I talked to him about it. It was of course I ran into him at the gym right. and he comes over and starts doing a little cardio with me and I'm like, Yeah, I started this podcast and he looks over and goes, I'm in. True gem. That, yeah. It wasn't even like a sight con- unseen. Yeah, I was like I was like, Yeah, I started a podcast. He looks over, bro, I'm in. I'm in. It tends to I'm be in. with a lot a lot of us. So we've been doing that unfortunately. <laughs> I'm coming on. You don't really get much of a fucking choice. <laughs> so you started your own nutrition company. Mm. Yes, say? there's a lot of bullshit out there, and I just wanted something simple that wasn't loaded with a lot of caffeine and other stimulant bullshit. So what do you sell? Uh, so I made a little. <laughs> <laughs> I made a little company. I just got started. It's called Death Proof Nutrition. Um, we've got a few uh, products in the works. We do have a pre-workout out that's out right now. Uh, it doesn't have any stimulants. Uh, makes you look twice the fucking size for a couple hours. Uh, oh, okay, nice. And then uh, it's got a lot of very good ingredients that uh, aren't really made in fashion in China and probably won't kill you. So you can use it every day. Oh, awesome. Uh, yeah. What kind of, so did you have to get like FDA approval for that so shit? That, that's How actually, that work? No, that's you don't. A, not, not for supplements. Well, I know, but so there's a lot of actually things that you find out once you start <clears throat> getting into it. Um, getting a trademark for each product so someone can't just instantly copy it and fucking blow you out of the market. That costs a couple grand pretty much every time. Um, then getting your UPC codes uh, for each item that you place, you know, on the stores. That that's a process as well. You know, um, so what's a uh, U- UPC code? I know what it is. But so it's a little barcode that goes in the back of an item. Um, okay. You know, that kind of identifies which manufacturer is making it, who is producing the product. So that you know, if you have some sort of death chemical that gives someone a second head or another vagina, they can track it back to you <laughs> and, <laughs> and, <laughs> and prosecute you like the second coming of Christ. You know. <sighs> So you got a pre-workout, and what else do you have right now? Or is it just a pre-workout The for pre-workout now? we have just is the first one. Uh, we got a nighttime protein. And uh, shit, I don't want to divulge all the secrets just, just yet. Do, what, on the do you have a website? I do. It's not launched just yet because we're not accepting orders. Uh, everything's in production, but we got a couple days. Uh, a couple days, and then you're going to have to invite me back like next week, week after. Then I'll have everything ready. All right, yeah. so we're gonna plug a shit. So Death Proof Nutrition? Yeah, Dude, it's, what's it's the fucking na- hard name. What's the name of your uh, the pre-workout? 10 ton hammer 10 ton ha- oh that's great <laughs> dude you are the fucking <laughs> viking like, <laughs> hold, on, hold on hold on let me check yeah i'm erect go on <laughs> Perfect. that's awesome that's exactly what i was going for could, i just could want you, you put, to read the label and be like mm. could you put thor in there somewhere you don't have to but i want no thor no, to no, be no. In there's there. there's a there's a uh apogee of a flying motherfucker coming through the air with a giant hammer in his hand oh nice kind of swung back in a very aggressive a gangster ass <laughs> pose like he's about to club a 
Baby either seal. a baby seal or a dragon. One of the two. <laughs> One of the two. Uh, I can't really iron it down. Baby seal would look nice. Yeah. Also, would... Stanley is dead. Yeah, <laughs> we know. Yeah. Everybody, the day he died, like, uh, okay, I've been at Comic Nerd since, Comic Nerd since 89, and my phone fucking blew up. I'm mm. like, he's dead? I've been prepared for that since fucking Mallrats in the 90s. Yeah, that, that was terribly... He, he was 95. That's what 95-year-olds do. Yeah. They die. Yeah. It was sad, but like I said, he's fucking 95. Knew like, it was coming. Yeah. Uh, the whole day that, that it happened, it was blasting on Facebook. I had a horrible fucking migraine, so I was laid out. And then the next day I wake up, and it's like I see the tail end of it. Like, you know, it's the day after. Like, you fucking missed it. And I was like, God damn it, I've been waiting for this. <laughs> Not waiting for him to die. Expecting. But, but I was waiting for him to die for like the last yeah, five like years. No, yeah, at least. No, yeah. you were prepared for him to die. I wanted well, to see all the memes and murals. I wanted, that's every, what I wanted to see. Every time I saw him in a Marvel movie, like doing his little cameo, I was like, fuck. Man, he doesn't have much left to go. Fuck. Like, uh, on we on are one or two movies away from the end. Yeah. In loving memory of Stanley. Like, we yeah. were, we, we're, we're waiting for that shit. It's, but it's, on, it's gonna be on Aquaman for sure. His credits are gonna be all Stanley. The, they're gonna throw <coughs> some added shit in. It's gonna be, it's, it's gonna, gonna be, be on, the next on, release after. On, probably on Captain Marvel. Captain yeah. Marvel. Well, and December 21st, I think, is Aquaman, yeah. He's uh, Marvel. Uh, that's DC. Man, oh, DC. fuck. So it'll be... It'll be that's right. Uh, okay, so the Viking is not a comic book nerd. I'm fair... I have a his fair pecs, amount... His, his pecs kind of dictate that. I actually... You know what? We can go in the trunk of the car right now, and I'll blow you the fuck away. I got, like, the first Spider-Man, Venom, Carnage, Death of Superman, oh, signed nice. Wolverine, first one, he all see, in the trunk right now. He says, Why are they in the trunk? He says... Guaranteed. <laughs> I don't doubt it. I I, I believe you. <laughs> oh, often. oh, old, fair how, enough. Fair <laughs> enough. <laughs> how old? Uh, you don't even know. <laughs> you don't know. No, you no. <laughs> He's like, she's legal. <laughs> Does uh? My favorite thing about having a, a Hispanic girlfriend is. When they get so mad at you that they switch from English to Spanish and they don't know it, and oh, you yeah. have to stop them and go, Look, sweetheart, s- sweetheart, I don't know what you're saying now. Oh, yeah, no, I, I get it. My wife's Cuban. I, I'm, I'm, I live it every day. I get it. No, I have a tumultuous, terrorized existence. Really? Yeah, we're going <laughs> no, to no. have to cut all that out, that was, by the way. That was, the whole the, section that was a lot of alliteration. There is no and, editing. No editing. Yeah, oh, we don't Once it's said, it's over. It's going on. And now I want to know more. Go on. Yeah. Nope. Nope. All right. <laughs> all right. All right. I'm already crucified. It's all right. She won't uh, listen to it anyway. Probably. She'll all listen right. to the first five minutes and go, okay. Yeah, I listen to your show. That's yeah. fine. That's fine. What's your day job? Hmm. I work for an organization that... Uh, Shit. I shan't, shan't be named. He sells cars. Yeah, do, I sell cars. Do you distribute in anything in, inappropriate? Absolutely not. Good. Never. Good. I'm excited to try the pre-workout. So where, where am I going to be able to buy this when it comes out? Online or on the website. On the website? Uh, Amazon, eBay. Um, we have a couple stores uh, that we're working with down here. Um, H&M Nutrition and uh, this other one right now that uh, kind of carry it in the store. That's usually the hardest part, getting products. Into a into store? Stuff. Yeah. Uh, I will announce the website, of course, once it's up, because, of course, it's just not going to fucking go anywhere right now. But yeah. um, do you have one picked, though? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's, okay. it's, it's actually okay. pretty much all done. Okay, so um, this is we're planned. Just you hold waiting on. for, like, the, the retail product coming in from the, uh, the manufacturer. Um, when you use, like, the number one flavoring house and the number one manufacturing facility in the whole United States, you know, they're oh, located nice. up in New York, so they're really, really good at what they do. They just take a while. How long did it take you to come up with the, the formula? Like, did you try this formula? You make it up yourself, and then so I, yeah, so I you started experimenting you know, with stuff. I market research pretty much every single one that they had, without okay. getting getting into detail. Like, like what what's in it? Like, stay general. Oh, okay. So you know, you, like, what makes it good? Really, it's just there's a bump of um a bunch of pump agents that uh you know help volumize the muscles as you're working out. Um, a lot of the standard ones. They come in most pre-workouts are in it in the best clinical dosage levels that aren't unsafe of any kind. There's some digestive stimulants in there that kind of help increase the bioavailability of all of it so you get a little bit more use out of it. Um, you don't really have to jack the levels of all the components up and, you know, fuck your kidneys up and stuff like that. It's yeah. I designed it so that you could use it every day and it would still be strong as fuck so you'd want to take it every day. 
and it doesn't have anything that's going to fuck up your sleep cycle, your sex drive, or anything else. You know, liver, I, kidneys, I, and stuff like that. I test the uh, <coughs> the effectiveness of my pre workouts on how my colon reacts. <laughs> okay, <laughs> it's probably because all the caffeine and other weird ass things they add to it. Go on. Uh, oh yeah, no. Mm-hmm. Okay, so I remember like when No Explode came out. I was still active duty, and that was, like, a huge thing. Everybody's like, dude, you got to try No Explode. Oh, my God, it's so good, right? I was like, all right, try this shit. So I, I we're like, he, my buddy's like, we're going to take it. We're going to wait here 30 minutes, and then we're going to go to the gym. I was like, why we got to wait? He's like, you're going to go to the bathroom. And I was like, oh, God. Why? He's like, just just try it. I'm like, all right. So I take this, I take this stuff, and then, like, he wasn't kidding. Like, 20 minutes later, I was I was shitting my brains out, like, that's a horrible product, then. Jesus Christ! I don't it, know it, that. It, it, it like fucking cleared me out. I was like, "Oh God damn!" But then I went to the gym, and it was like, ah, like felt fucking invincible. And yeah, all of a sudden, I'm throwing up an extra ten pounds on everything I'm doing. Like, right, right. I mean, that's that's the thing that you want. I mean, it's just a product that gives you a little bit, a little bit more of a performance edge in the gym, and it's easy to take. It's completely safe and legal. You know, uh, you feel strong as shit. You know, you look a lot larger than you may normally be, so it kind of is good for the fucking ego, too, which, you know, yeah. kind of helps motivate you as well, and you go kill set after set and set, and it makes, this, makes it just more fun. You know, so uh, all the other ones on the market, they're loaded with fucking caffeine. You can't sleep for shit. You can't take it at night. If you work a night shift, you know, or a day shift, and you, and you get out at night, yeah, you can't take any fucking pre-workouts because they're loaded with, like, eight cups of fucking caffeine. Now you yeah. can't sleep on that shit. You can't. You can't. You can't, you, can't. You, you just go lay down and stare at the right. ceiling. And then, then another problem is, too, if you want to actually make your particular brew or, you know, you take one scoop, two, three, you know, or more, you can't really do that if you load it with a lot of stimulants. Because then if you take more than one scoop of it, you're putting so much stimulant shit in there, too. You take 800 milligrams of caffeine, you're fucked. You know, you're going you're gonna to either feel like shit or you yeah. potentially send yourself to the hospital. Yeah. So there's no stimulants in mind. If you want to make it strong as shit, you could literally burst your fucking muscle bodies if you took too much of this shit because you could double dose it if you wanted to. There's crazy fucks out there that might. I'm sure they're, I'm sure they're, oh, yeah. like, no, big like, red. I tried one and a half scoops and it was more than, like, I had to shake my arms out several times because it felt like they were going to snap from within. Um, it's a nice, nice feeling, but, you know, it goes to show that the, the formula is strong as fuck. It's super effective, you know. So like, I, won't, I won't plug my shit too much more. <laughs> I you feel almost bad doing it. Don't plug away. But Shameless self-promotion. Someone, someone, someone will buy it soon enough, and you guys will like the shit out of it. Trust me. But I will plug is uh, you cannot leave without signing the desk. No, that sounds fucking fun. Taking a picture with our president. There's a bunch of penises drawn on it. Uh, yeah, we got a bunch of dick drawers. And, <laughs> and, and, and you have to piss in his toilet. Jesus. Ask him why. No, ask him why. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Ask him why. So I have a, a light sensor in my toilet, okay. and it's a little motion sensor, and uh, so you can pee in the dark, because then all of a sudden the toilet bowl lights up. It's the greatest thing ever. That's uh, fucking awesome. My, yeah, for our last anniversary, my wife said, what do you want for the anniversary? And I sent her a link to this thing, kind of half joking, kind of half serious, and she bought it. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> can you feel the love tonight? Yeah, so uh, I definitely put it in there, and yeah, I love that thing. Sounds effective. It's some, something you get on Amazon at three in the morning after you were. Oh yeah, it was like you pulled a Roseanne bar. You were laden up with uh, what Ambien. Is it? What, what, yeah, Ambien. That's her, that's her drug of choice. He said Roseanne bar. Yeah. That's her. He mix. said the secret word. <laughs> <laughs> secret word, huh? Poor her. I feel bad for her, dumbass. But, Why? Oh, I know. do and I don't. Like financially, she's fine. Her show. It's down, by the way. Uh, yeah, Since the show's she left, dead. It's yeah, it's dead. How no. the fu- you can't you can't take dead. a show named after the person of interest, yeah. and try and flip it. No, you stupid motherfuckers! You're not going to cash out. Yeah, that, that show's going to get canceled. Oh, absolutely, um, canceled. they're down. I, I think fifty uh, percent from last year on their viewership. Yeah, I think. I mean, f- it's still high, but 50%. I think it was. I think I was reading they they're still like number in the top ten ratings. Two, top two. Two, really? yeah. but. It's still like a quarter of what it was with her yeah, there. I think yeah, they had like seventeen to twenty million viewers or something with that. Yeah. I mean, that's like not, I, I wouldn't say Game of Thrones territory, but it's getting reasonably close. Yeah. And the episode th- that they killed her off, I fucking love her. She posted on Twitter, "I'm still alive, bitches!" Like, yeah. <laughs> she's fucking awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you guys! Like, oh, it's awesome. They she, killed her off. They should have. Yeah. You, know sh- <laughs> you know what they should have? I think it was like, she like OD'd on like fentanyl or something. Like, nice. It was you know. Okay. You know what she should have? You know what they should have done for the show? They should have had her character do the exact same thing or something very similar to it, mm. and then she could have had like an apology or like a, a learning moment, and then the show would have gone on and done even better. I bet. Right. But 
But and that's what it's, it's the PC victimhood, you know, yeah. the, the the victimhood signal, whatever the fuck, they, victim signaling or whatever the yeah. fuck they call virtue it. Virtue signaling. Know, virtue signaling. Oh, yeah. You know, yeah. oh Christ, you know, oh god. But like, the funny part is, they, she's fucked up. She's a fucked up person. Like, she she says, admits she's a fucked up person. Yeah, she says fucked up shit she all comes the clean. time. Yeah, she, she has been clean. before we were actually born. By the way, like. Yeah. She's yeah. always been that way. Did you hear her her Joe Rogan show? Absolutely. Oh mm. God, the sh- the crazy shit she did God, when she was so a little good. girl. You're like, what the fuck? No wonder she's like out there. Whatever. She literally openly talks about her multiple personalities. Like, yeah. nobody does that. <laughs> like confidently. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Makes it easy to come up with material, I suppose. Jesus Christ. Yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> like, and, and okay. So the, and the only thing that bars like okay, House of Cards. I love that show. And now you know. We got to get rid of Kevin Spacey now. Like, God damn it. No, and that's fine. They actually kind of yeah. built that up to the show. Like, he, it's possible he would die, and that's fine. But also kill him on the show. Because you, yeah. you would make all the SJWs, like, happy. Um, you can't make them all happy. No, you can't. Um, actually, they can't experience joy. That's, that's <laughs> they <they're>, cannot. <laughs> it's bred out of them by age four. They're <laughs> emotional hemophiliacs. They're tragedy addicts. All the words I've come up with. Yeah, they, they can't experience joy. But if you just but kill, they start they started a club. What's it called Antifa. Oh, the door oh, fuck. <laughs> is that a thing? You know what's funny? You know what I like is about that a thing? You know what I like about Antifa? This is my favorite part. So it's so ill-defined. And it's... So there's chapters everywhere, right? So, like, the ones in Seattle apparently now are, like, taking over Seattle. And everybody's yeah. scared to, like, fucking confront them. Like... And, and, but and, the, and, fuck, but, and fuck everyone there for letting it ride out. Because right, no, pussies, absolutely. fuck you. But the no. ones in Chicago just smoke weed and, like, like Play video practice games. haiku. Like, like yeah. <laughs> like, like, they're someone, totally irrelevant. Yeah. like. But the ones in fucking Berkeley. You got some seriously psycho fucking ones out there, too. <laughs> but weapons the one, of all sorts, you know, wild shit. But they know. don't know what to do with them shits. That's probably true. That's but the ones true. in Berkeley are fucking... Protesting Ben Shapiro like he's a problem. No, they like, called him a uh, they call him a fucking Nazi. Yeah. You're gonna call it with his yarmulke on. Staunch Jew with his yarmulke on a Nazi. So you got to be fucking brain dead. Yeah. Personally, and I find him adorable. But I love Ben Shapiro, and I didn't. I'd always written him off and never listened to him <laughs> until because I was like, ah, it's just another Rush Limbaugh fuck. Whatever, I don't care. Until somebody was like, he's a fucking Nazi, and I was like, wow. I'm like, I know he's Jewish, <clears throat> right? <clears throat> And you saying he's a Nazi? All right, I gotta hear what this guy's Doesn't saying. I was like, yeah, I yeah. gotta hear this. How, why is it ruffling the fucking feathers? Yeah. You know? So then I started listening to, it and I'm like, oh, they're just mad because facts, idiots. Um, do you uh, follow Stephen Crowder at all? A little bit, yeah. I do like uh, he does like a man on the street or walks uh, something similar. I think right. Change, change my, my mind. mind. Yeah. yeah, change my mind. Right. Well, right, that right. was not planned. I yeah, did right. not mean to be in sync <laughs> with you. Fuck. <laughs> Faggot. Yeah, and it goes to show just how stupid everyone is, like the general public. Absolutely. I right. agree. Well, here's what I, here's what I love uh, about Bench Perro and... Except for the people that listen to our show. They're pretty smart. Generally, every single one that watches this show must be smart or brilliant in some yeah. way. There's probably one fucking retard out there. We love all you guys. <laughs> <laughs> Except that one drooling bastard sitting in the corner. We love him too. Keep listening. Mm. Steve, 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 Steve. <laughs> I couldn't I join in. I didn't know the inside joke. No, no, it's fine. You don't need to. I don't even. I don't even. I don't even know Steve. I never met him. I. Oh. <laughs> Steve is a guy he knows from high school. They apparently they used to do that to him all the time. And Only to make him feel bad. And, and he hates it. <laughs> no, no, no. He loves it now. By the way. Oh, okay, cool. Like he follows. He follows us pretty reli- religiously. Wow, I can't talk to that. Um, yeah. Oh, I want to take this moment to uh, shout out to Snebley's Winery. To what? Oh, yes. Snebley's Winery. Oh, yeah. We are officially uh, not brought to you by Snebley's, but uh, we encourage you to go buy their products and tell them uh, hi for us. And thank you for the plugs on Instagram. Oh, yeah. They plugged us on Instagram. That's yeah. fantastic. Yeah. It's working. They Keep have going, quite guys. Good stuff. I want, I want one of two things to happen. Either we're going to get a cease and desist letter. No. Or we'll get some so. wine out of it. Or no, a bottle of wine. Actually, I, one of my. One of my, uh, one of my little. Brothers, well, not brothers, but brother-in-law. I think uh, he uh, he took a little milfy there the other night and had a quite a quite a nice success. So thank you, Snobies. Oh, for, for the lay- win, laying up milfs. Yeah, right. So not sponsored by. So yeah. you so ha- you have siblings. Talking to you. Are they are they Vikings too, or are you the only Viking? I'm the only one. 
Ah, uh, okay. The rest were killed off on my planet many years ago. <laughs> <laughs> did you deva- did you like devour them in the fetus? Like like as a fetus? Absorb no, their energy. I think we were maybe thirty or forty at the time. I can't, oh. <laughs> I can't tell you the actual, actual age of my person now. It's been many many a millennia. <clears throat> so. Uh, so tell me about your car. You got the, the Dodge, right? Okay, so yeah, it's probably the best fucking car ever made. Uh, you, also, you also sell cars, right? <laughs> right, I do sell cars, but I, I would refer everyone to Dayland Dodge down on uh, 165 and US, US 1. They uh, have some good shit. You should go see Geo there. Good guy. Short, pudgy little bastard, but I'll give you a fucking hookup deal. Go get a whip. What's Hector doing? Hector is selling used cars now. Oh, it's That's rough. Sad. <laughs> Do you know Hector? No. Okay. He was okay, so he owned uh the Cutler Bay Sports Bar. Oh yes. Actually the, I did I, I tried to sell him a fucking car actually. And then and then he uh He's he about went, yay big. Uh-huh. Yeah, he went under and then uh he started selling used cars and then he went from selling used cars to being a manager at uh Brass Tap and then got fired from Brass Tap and now he's selling used cars again. This guy. Which I think he has the perfect personality to sell used cars. That is that is his alley. That is that is that is his forte, I'm sure. Like that, he's perfect for that. Yeah. Well, I knew him for. Uh, let's see. Did, what kind I, of run, what kind of run in did you have with him? <laughs> I, see, I knew him when I uh, I was selling cars at Kendall, actually Kendall Dodge, and he was coming to get an SRT, and da 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 da. We test drove it, loved it. Wife loved it. Uh, but then, like, all of his coworkers at his restaurant were like, don't sell him the car. He can't pay his fucking bills. This is, like, liable as fuck. It gets sued your ass off. <laughs> anyway, so the restaurant went under. Didn't buy the car. Whatever. Um, nice guy, otherwise. I kind of miss his bar. Yeah. I've got nothing negative to say about him, despite all the negative things people tell me about him. I went, I went to his old bar on Friday night, the, the new one. Uh, the sandbar, uh-huh. and it was well. We, we both went. Yeah, uh, it was really weird because I will post those pictures tomorrow. It was really weird because it's all lit up now, and it's painted white, and it's like really clean. And there was and kids and kid friendly. Yeah, yeah, it's like kid friendly. People, the kids are running around, and I'm like, this is really weird. I, I don't feel right if I don't get offered like hard drugs at least twice. Like, <laughs> this, this is something's like, wrong here. <laughs> I feel like somewhere there's a 55, 55 year old like meth woman who died there, and she's and she haunts there. Yeah, and she wants to suck your dick. Like yeah. that's that's. <laughs> <laughs> so, are you into the races at all? Because this is race weekend, man. Championship no, day. No, I haven't. I haven't followed it at all. I have a hard time following any sports of any kind ever. Yeah, yeah. I did don't you, know what it is. Did you do any sports? Like yes, up? yes. Which? Yeah. So I mean, martial arts like my whole childhood. You know, uh, in the service as well. Um, you know, did some competitive amateur bouts and stuff like that. So, I mean, if it, you know, I'm not participating in it, I don't really like watching it, I guess. Maybe? Fair enough. Yeah. You know, that's just, a, I mean, I, I could appreciate that people enjoy it and they get fucking into it and they lose yeah. their mind and they go crazy. You know, that's awesome. Uh, I just, I can't. I mean, I get the, the, the butterflies like getting ready to get into it and either get my face smashed or smash someone else's face. I don't know. Yeah. Did you wrestle? It's. A, it's yeah, well, I mean, I did jujitsu and, and judo. No, I said uh, wrestling. Muay Thai. Totally different thing. Yeah, well, yeah, there's all the others. <laughs> like, <laughs> okay, rest, so wrestlers were my like my fodder to a certain degree because of the way that they because they try to pin individuals. It's, it works well for my sport because we work well off of our back. It, it's a, it's like the general. Yeah, but a double match. leg takedown, you're fucking done. Because so. he, he's because he's a wrestler. Right. Was no, I mean, was but, the, a but then you get then you get there. I mean, that's that's the thing. It's I mean, wrestling is fantastic. I will take nothing away from wrestling. It's but fan- he's about to say but. Right. <laughs> I, am, I am going to say but. It's fantastic for positional and body control. Um, it's very difficult to take a wrestler down. It's very very difficult because they have such a great takedown defense. The downside is is when a wrestler takes you down. What then? I have all these submissions. They hold you and they wait. I love it, but I mean, I, <laughs> yeah. that is true. That is true. Do. But, we're, I mean, we're talking combat sports, not points. You know? Yeah. I mean, in the, the, therein is the only Combat difference. what? Combat sports. Whereas, you know, I'm using it as an, in an MMA aspect where there's, yeah. you know, you're either going to knock out or submit the opponent. Now, I respect in wrestling, I, th- I think you, what, you pin someone to the, their back to the ground. If you hold for a specified uh, amount of time. It depends and which that's uh, what gives you points and how, that's how you win matches. Um, and it's, did you it's, want to know or did you just want to say it? Good, I'm curious. Okay. 
Uh, well, well fo- folk style, uh, if you hold somebody t- to their back, it's uh, two, three, and I think in college it's four points. In okay. freestyle, it's, uh, it's two, three, and four. And a possible extra point if the ref really likes what you're doing. There's like a, an appreciation flare, point. Flair, okay. For yeah, some flare but like, some sort, yeah. and and I tried to do uh, jujitsu for like one day, uh-huh. and a fucking fourteen year old choked me out. Right. This so is, it's very humbling. <laughs> this is, this I, is not for I, me. I, you know, I'll tell, tell. That's funny because I'll tell you my initial. You know, I was I had done, um, you know, like, uh, Jeet Kune Do and Taekwondo like my whole childhood, and I thought I was this cool little fucking badass. It like, sounds. Kick all the damn it time. sounds like well rounded. Like right. I mean, to a certain degree, you want to be right. I mean, yeah. You know, so I'm like, okay, I'm gonna progress to jujitsu. And at the time, at the time, I had taken a long break, and I was, uh, you know, working out in the gym, and I had gotten very, you know, at least very adept in, you know, my physical form. So I'm thinking, okay, I'm going to go to jiu-jitsu class since I'm rolling up all these fucking people, you know? Or at least do reasonably well because I've got an added strength element and yeah. an athletic element to, you know, my frame versus the normal individual, right? Nope. No. Not a fucking <laughs> Not chance. Not a fucking chance. All right, exactly like... You he, can get choked out by a 12-year-old right. so exactly girl. Exactly like, like he just said. Exactly like... It's just the same fucking thing, man. I mean... And I they're, go wait, to class, they're waiting for it. I go to they, class and everybody's like, oh, man, you look like a fucking badass. And I'm like, well, I'll see how I do, you know? like Don't give me credit yet. I, right, right. <laughs> don't give me credit yet, you know? Okay. Uh, may not know how to use all this. Uh, and then, sure enough, like a 14-year-old kid just choked the shit out of me, cranked me in a couple arm bars and shit, got my back, rear naked... And I'm like, fuck. I mean, it's humbling. <laughs> you know, I mean, it takes your pride from like, oh, I'm tough shit. To, it puts you on the bottom. You're like, I ain't shit. What you was know? your name? At, the name? Her name, yeah. Oh, no. I, 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 well, I mean, uh, so shit. It was funny because we talked about this before. It was uh, Shia LaBeouf knocked out fucking Tom Hardy. Like oh, on set somewhere, like they had, they had, yeah. like, they exchanged we, words, and he just walked up to him and clocked him and knocked him out <laughs> like cold. He said, "One minute we were talking, next minute I know I'm waking up staring at the ceiling." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and it's this, like this is Tom a real Hardy, truth that actually happened. Yeah, like Tom oh, Hardy's a badass, God. and Shia LaBeouf's a little like. A and Tom SJW Hardy bitch. is the one that talks about this. Yeah. Shia doesn't. Yeah, Tom Hardy came out and had an interview about it. He was talking about it like, "Yeah, dude, I, I don't know what happened. Like, I got laid out." <laughs> That's rough. Yeah, right? <laughs> That's extremely rough. Um, I got knocked out by a dude named Shia. Yeah. <laughs> it, it, ha- it happened several times. For like the first, you know, three to six months, all the priority gets like whittled out of you, beat down by beat down, you know? And, you s- and then if, if you finally catch someone, you catch someone once, and then it's like, yeah. okay, you're starting to add back into the bucket, you know? And you're like, oh, okay, I fucked someone up today, you know? <laughs> so I'm not just like the training dummy anymore, <laughs> <laughs> you know? Uh, and for me, I think the, the success that I, I built on is I, I, I went home. I uh, actually made an articulated fucking training dummy out of PVC pipe, fucking spring steel wire. You can buy those online. Lead weights. We used to, yeah. we used to do those. No, yeah, I mean, you can buy them online, right? But I just got some fucking towels. You cheap bastard. D- d- goddamn duct tape. <laughs> you know, hey, I was, I'm fucking Home Depot savvy, all right? And yeah. this motherfucking mannequin, 100 pounds. Articula- Hash that. Articulated Sla- arms. You could fucking. Slash fuck buddy. <laughs> no, I mean, this is so you're going you to sell sex dolls for your next company uh, as long as they're cute, you know. Yeah, I mean, right. Let's let's work with Japan on that. We'll outsource. Get the, but I'm sure uh, that they got the balloons and boobs. They, those good. motherfuckers have fetish for that shit, so we're going to have to outsource that product immediately. Um. Yeah, they got the, they got the sex robots now. Christ, you see, they, they got ones that are they have little kid sex robots. Oh. That entire sentence makes me uncomfortable. Yeah, that's a thing now. They have I'm little just, kids. They're sex robots. <sighs> And the, the whole I'm idea, sorry. the whole I'm idea sorry. is to keep pedophiles off to the, you, to the actual why kids. You to, to the lady listening, I'm I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. Yeah, it's a thing. I'm going bro. straight to hell right now. That's a thing. She's yeah. she's literally working in her like satanic Bible. Oh jeez. <laughs> she's casting a spell on my soul right now. We were just talking about child sex robots. Oh, That's a thing, bro. That's a thing. There's a huge debate about them coming over here now. Oh god. Yeah, cuz everybody's like, "No, but then there's going to be Please more pedophiles." No. And everybody's like, "Well, it'll keep the one the pedophiles that are there from actually touching real kids." And then I under You know what they should make them like the T1000. So, like, the pedophile sleeps with it. And then it kills him. And them. then it just fucking spikes him through the face, you know, with a big arm dagger or something. Just <laughs> right through the fucking back of the skull. And then we find it like that. They call it the, over. The, the, pray, the praying mantis line. Oh, so <laughs> it'll be something snappy. We're going to have to market research the name for it. But that'll be, uh, that'll be a good product to get the... Uh, the creeps off the street. There you go. I mean, if they're like, um, you know what? This, <laughs> this is a bad whole, conversation. This whole 
questionable scenario is oh god, I feel like I'm digging myself into an early grave. It's okay. <laughs> we have no, we really have no limits here. No, I don't I don't know how I've survived this long as it is. We talk about everything. Here. You know, I, I was actually talk, we actually talked about uh, I convinced my my ex girlfriend to get an abortion. Fuck Christ. Yeah, she 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 still hates me, but I feel like I really dodged a bullet there. Well, <laughs> the whole switch going on. Fucking <laughs> Christ. Oh, wow. That was it's a, almost as bad as burning a Koran. Yeah, right? That's not that bad. It's probably not that bad. Depends if you wrap it in bacon first. You know, me and my buddy were talking. Uh, we were trying to figure out how to make kosher pork. <laughs> no, no we, re- we were really talking it has about to it. to be laid at a mosque for 24 hours first. Well, in in... in in the in the Bible, there is, uh, well, in the uh, the Old Testament or whatever, the the rules for a, a land animal being kosher is it has to have a split hoof and it has to chew the cud, meaning that it has to chew food, swallow it, regurgitate, chew it again, and then swallow it again. So that's why they can eat cows, but they can't eat pigs because pigs already have the split hoof. So we were talking about genetically engineering pigs with multiple stomachs, so that way they would chew the cud. Because you think about it, there's a huge market there of untapped. You know, all the Jews and Muslims that have any pork, they don't eat bacon, ham. I mean, you're certainly missing out. There's a huge profit margin there. I mean, pork is a very inexpensive meat as well. Yeah. And it's quite fucking good if prepared well. Yeah. You know? I mean, yes, yes, yes. It's a filthy fucking animal. Whatever. Wallows around in shit. But for some reason, it wallowing around in shit makes it taste so fucking succulent. Yeah, right? I'm sorry, buddy. Yeah, I love it. I'm sorry. And I think I think that, you know, the Jews and the Muslims would love it too. We just have to make it kosher. Right. So if you got, if anybody knows any genetic engineers, send them our way. We'll set this up. Genetically engineer pigs to chew the cud, and then we just all we got to do is get a rabbi to bless it, and then we're good. But then it's a billion dollar idea. Absolutely. I, I might be out of a job because for years I have been paid to be a professional unkosher taster for Jews. Oh my God, this bacon is amazing. You guys are missing out <laughs> so hard. <laughs> It really is a miracle food. It's it's not really a meat. I would say it's more a dessert meat. Yeah, it's amazing. I love bacon. Apparently, giraffes are kosher, but they can't figure out where to cut the neck. <laughs> They're like, no, 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 no. I'm not kidding. That's not a joke. This this is a severe. This is a um, like like stringent, strict Jewish girl that I was hitting on like five years ago, and she was like, basically like telling me why she couldn't go out with me. But also, like, give me, like, all her, like, dietary restrictions. And she's, like, like, giraffes are this close to being kosher. They just can't figure <laughs> out which part of the neck to cut. Does she, does she eat zebra steaks? Is that a thing? Can, we, can they do zebra? I don't know. Her name was Rachel, and her ass was amazing. Nice. Zebras make an annoying ass noise. Like, I almost just want to murder their ass for that. You heard about the zebra steaks with Alex Jones, right? No. <laughs> Crepes. I missed oh, yeah. this one. This is a great story. All right, so he is, like, in battle... Embattled in a like bitter divorce, and apparently his wife is like all like. Oh shit! That's not relevant. So okay, so uh, apparently he's like, um, yeah, bitter divorce, um, and this is like an offhand thing. Like 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 you read it out of context, and it's way funnier. Um, <laughs> apparently he, his wife is like all Greenpeace, like liberal as fuck. Um, and the, at least the segment I read, what, it was something along the lines of, she's just pissed because of my zebra stakes. Apparently she was hitting him up for more money and saying, like, oh, this is bullshit. He's hiding money, this and that. And he turns to the judge, like, at a turn, like, in the court and was like, she's just mad because of my zebra stakes. Did you know, <laughs> did you know zebra stakes are a thing? Because I found out that day. Yeah, I didn't know that was a thing. I, like, I, I want to try some zebra steaks. Are they really talking about, like, actual steaks? No. Of yeah. zebra meat. Yeah. Well, he's just made a, a, a new term for alimony money. Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what it is. God <laughs> damn it. That's a good point. Yeah. Zebra I think he was talking about actual zebra meat. Because now I want to try it. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag yeah. zebra al- alimony. Yeah. It, can't, it can't be that good. I mean, think about it. I don't know. Have you had it? Because I want it I now. I have not. I have not. Jesus, that's a good question. Zebra meat. Because, well, like, what, what's the, the d- difference between a horse and a zebra? 
color and annoyance level I'm gonna say. Because you know, because you know the zebras they make that fucking noise, like sound like a donkey on fucking steroids. Yeah. You know, it's all hopped up on cocaine and methamphetamines. <laughs> <laughs> like you've seen a zebra, they're all high strung as fuck. They're never chilling. They're never fucking chilling. But you can't ride one, but you gotta break their ass. I've never actually seen anyone riding a zebra. Now that I recall it, I don't think I've ever seen a picture of a motherfucker on a zebra. Google it. It's 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 out there. Yeah. Oh yeah. Um, okay. So uh, horses actually evolved in the U.S. Uh, about I think fifty, sixty thousand years ago. They they went to Africa. All the ones here died. Okay. All the horses on, on this continent died. They went to Africa, and then they they gained stripes because if you all, if you if everybody has stripes, you can't differentiate b- between anybody else. So okay. it's just a bunch of stripes. And then those, then those animals came back to the states uh, to here, and then they became horses. Okay. Modern day horses, but horses actually started here evolutionarily. I'm sorry, I'm not good at that. That works. That works. We got the we got the gist of it. But why don't we eat horses? I think they did for the longest time. Yeah, I think it's a, I think they do. Somebody does. Somebody has. Why to. don't you have horses? I know Dude, we get it snuck into the so much food supply all the damn time. Yeah. You have so much space. Why don't you have horses? Um, I have trouble taking care of a nine-pound dog. I know. <laughs> I, I, <laughs> I don't take care of a fucking horse. I just want to eat. I just want to eat your horse. <laughs> Is that weird? I don't know. Think about how much food a goddamn horse has to eat to maintain its body weight. Not if we yeah. eat it. Fir- not if we eat it first. Well, you know what I was thinking. I really wanted to get some pigs, and I was thinking about making pens in the back. Uh, that would be a good idea. I was looking at, I was reading about it. What you have to do is, is you, you definitely get get chickens, though. Yeah, you make multiple pens, and you rotate the pigs through the pens, so that way, you know, they don't just destroy one section of land or whatever. So, like every couple months, you move them, and then that that first one regrows, and then you throw them in the third one. The second one starts to regrow, and then by the first time the first one's regrown, you throw them back in there. And That's a good idea. Right. That sounds good. Yeah. A fresh supply of pork chops. That was my plan. Uh, unfortunately, the wife, you know, cute animals. She gets attached. Mm. She would not be okay with me slaughtering her pig friend. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I would be. I, I would be too. <laughs> I'm okay with I'm, it. I'm, I'm totally all right with it. It trips me out too. These pigs. I mean, they have like such a genetic similarity to humans too. They like transplant our goddamn organs with them. Yeah, they're incredibly. What the fuck's going on here? They're incredibly intelligent creatures. That's I will also. Eat, I will also eat, eat your flesh. It's got to do one cute-ass thing. To, like, if it brings me my fucking car keys, I'm done. That's it. I can't kill that motherfucker. He does it one dime. I'm like, dude, you save your life. Just bring me my car keys, bro. So, or some shit like that. Then you're like, what, from what, 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 what am I going to do? Yeah. Are you going to kill this guy now? Yeah. He, he, he fucking brought me my car keys, dog. Yeah. He's a, he's that a, one did. That the one. rest of them. Oh, they can all die. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, I only have room in my heart for the love of one animal. <laughs> After that, the rest of them are goners. <laughs> So I got a question for you. Mm. Donald Trump. Yes. Best president or greatest president? Mm. (laughs) (laughs) The fucking Colbert Report shit. What is the metric? It's not a metric. Used for either word. You have A or B. We have A or B. (laughs) And that's intentional. (laughs) I will say greatest. Nice. Greatest because of all the goddamn... Shit, just surrounding the whole presidency and the election. It's fun I mean, to it's watch. Great. I mean, it's great just to watch all these motherfuckers melt down. And it's on both Over sides. Over every sentence, everything, everything he it's, says. No, my favorite, my favorite meme and the new one is like or- the video "Orange Man Bad." I love that shit. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like Wait, what? "Orange Man Bad," Wait, what? "Orange Man Bad." Every single thing that the left wing media says, "Orange that, Man Bad." That's that. the that's the fucking boil down. Whatever they're saying. Orange man bad. That's what it, they're trying to tell you. That, the orange man bad. That's the thing? Orange yeah. man bad. I've never heard of this. This is awesome. It's, new, it's a new little fucking meme where they all got the blank <laughs> fucking faces and they're all saying the same shit. Goddamn Trump hurt my feelings. Orange man's fucking bad. You know, like just nonstop it's, with the same pussy shit, you know. It's like I, t- I tell the guys I work with all the time, I'm like, Trump can't swim. And they look at me, they're like, what? I was like, Trump could walk on water tomorrow. Right, and the headline the next day would read: "Trump can't swim." He, he's made he's made <laughs> your your paychecks bigger, your tax taxes owed lower, your your child benefits larger. The mm-hmm. fuck are people complaining about? No, no, you know, no. American manufacturing is up. American investment is up. Jobs are up. The fuck are you complaining about? Oh no, the word racist. Appar- well, apparently, he's a white supremacist. 
right. that was hiding out in New York City his entire fucking life. Right, like, right, right. You know what I think is great, too? So, like, before he was president, <laughs> like... No one cared. Well, I mean, everyone got their picture taken with Trump. Everyone. They all wanted Trump pictures. They all talked great things about how awesome he was. I met and, him in 06. Yeah. yeah. And they're like, he's got pictures with Rosa Parks and Maya Angelou and... Ali and Puff Daddy. Everybody and from the film ev- industry. Like everybody. everybody. If like anybody who had money or was famous or stopped by New York got their picture taken with Trump. Like and it was like a everyone did it because it was a cool thing to do. And now no, he's a fucking racist. Fuck him. And it's all because he has that R on his name. And it's funny because he's a very Democrat president. Like <laughs> he's He's a homophobe. Literally, there's a Time magazine. Like 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 fucking um uh, front page where it's him like standing like arms crossed fighting for gay rights in the early 90s yeah this is long before Hillary actually decided to be okay with you know gay rights like seriously he's <laughs> it, oh. the man's All a right. genuine man of the people he's swaddled through shit when he didn't have to <laughs> To just help the country do better from a business standpoint. And you see it in all of the numbers. Who gives a flying fuck about your hurt feelings? The numbers for the country are Hurt in. what? Hurt what? The hurt feelings. Oh, okay. Give a shit, you know? The numbers are in, and the motherfucker's <laughs> swinging big dick all around the country, and we're doing fucking great. I'm, I'm just Make saying. Make America great again. It's doing fucking a hell of a lot greater. I'm saying we're... we're Mission is, is on point. It's on fucking process. We, uh... He ended the, the, the Korean War. <laughs> <laughs> Man went in. He said, "He said, you know what? We got two two Pacific battle groups off the coast. Fuck that! I'm going in solo." <laughs> and, the mother- <laughs> <laughs> and the motherfucker went <laughs> straight. I put he put his fucking pants on one leg at a time, and he's like, "Kim Jong, I'm coming to see you." And the motherfucker came and saw the motherfucker right then and there, him and damn himself. Yeah, and then everybody's still talking shit. Yeah, it's it's funny because everyone's like, he's going to bring us to war over the whole Twitter thing about my him, button's he, bigger. He brought himself to the fucking table. He's like, let's just go, How? Let's go hash this shit. How did he do it? Shit talking. He shit talked his, you know, like, talk his no, way no, to ending no. a war. It's beautiful. Shit talking is not a new thing. The Spartans were doing shit talking way back in the day. I think truthfully what it really was is I'll tell you. I mean, we had some fucking heat off that coast. Yeah. We had some serious heat yeah. off that coast. Like, Kim Jong knew if it was, like, go time, dog, it would have been, oh, we could take down one of your aircraft carriers? We had, like, seven of them hanging out. It would have been the <laughs> shortest war in history. Oh. We would have we leveled them The first solo would have taken out everything. He's, yeah. what, like, 25, 26? He's never done war. He's no, he knows nothing about war. Kim Jong, what? Um. Um, ill. Um. That, not, not only that, but, I Bless mean, you. their people really are suffering, and he doesn't have, no, they like, are. he doesn't have, like, the... You know, the wherewithal to really want to fight with someone for the next 20, 30 years. Like, why not come to the fucking table and get imports from all the other countries and get in the world reserve system and be able to buy and sell all your hotels, shit? Hotels, hotels. Like, like, get... There's a nice coastline there, by the way. I mean, let alone, let alone tourism. I mean, it's pretty shitty weather out there. Yeah. But, I mean, you know, you could buy and sell and trade. I mean, they don't have a lot of usable, t- you know, tr- things to sell. I think their number one exports are like iron fucking ore. Yeah. And grains of some sort, you know, like potatoes and radishes. I think, you know, it's not much copper. Yeah, but but the the, the third largest importer of, of importer of Hennessy, right? Cognac, yeah. <laughs> and that's that's not a joke. That that's true. And you know, you know it's funny too. I, I pointed out to my buddy the other day. I was like, you know, uh, Trump won that trade war, and he's like, what are you talking about? I was like, you know, the media stopped talking about it because he won because they can't they can't give him anything. They can't give him one victory of any kind. Like, if he None. legitimately does something that is genuinely good for the country, even even if it's the most amazing thing ever, it does not matter because they will not give him credit for it because they just, it, instead of not giving him credit for it, they just don't talk about it. They can't. So, they so, couldn't. Yeah, so anytime they stop talking about something they were ranting about, it's because he won. <laughs> <laughs> no, it, it's bigger than that. So um, what, what was the F- FBI's final, I don't know, analysis on the Kavanaugh thing? Oh, did you hear about this? No. Okay, so... The, they recently released a Senate report from the Judiciary Committee uh-huh. saying, saying, so they found some guy uh, that admitted, not well, he admitted to being at that, that party with Blazy Ford, and he was like, yeah, this and this happened. He corroborated the whole story. 
and it was him and his buddy, not Kavanaugh, apparently. So then they find this guy's buddy, and his buddy corroborates the exact same story he does. And they were like, yeah, we were only in town oh, for that weekend. Shit. It was this party. It was near this house and around this neighborhood. You know, this and that. This happened. This girl was wearing a bathing suit. This and that. Da, da, da. But he didn't know it was Ford or whatever, or Dr. Ford. But, yeah. So the Judiciary Committee had that information. The whole time? The whole time. Right, right. Of course. So, yeah. So then they... they <laughs> And of course, they didn't release it till after everything was all decided. But yeah, and this, they had that. They had that before they they started calling for a further FBI investigation. At this point, it's a complete fucking joke. Like, I mean, you God look, damn it! Like, you, what kind of sh- like? If you were in the Democratic Party and you're Democrats, at, at some level, if you have any semblance of a fucking brain and you can digest what's evidence and bullshit and psyops and not. You're going to see that, like, damn, these motherfuckers running my party are out of fucking control. False oh, they rape are. claims. Oh, they what, are. What, I mean, are you really going to go there? Yeah. We're just going to say, this motherfucker. No, no. He didn't rape. Gang raped. Yeah. Me. That's right. That's right. Gang raped. Jesus Christ. And then there was the two other chicks that accused him. Both came and out and like, recanted. Yeah, they both came out and recanted and said they were given money to say this and da 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 da. Given you're like, money. And, and, holy and, and fuck. then you're like, what the f- what, 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 what is off the table now? Yeah. What is off the table now? Absolutely nothing, really. Hey, you know what I love, though? Okay, so. Trump is is he is he is a life uh, uh, a live troll. He is trolling the fuck out of everybody all the time, and I love it. So, and all the media would have to do to beat him, ignore him for no, like well, two days. Not even just ignore him. All they would have to do would be instead of twisting anything, be just be one hundred percent honest. Because Trump goes up and he says, "Liberal fucking fake news media," and then they turn around and they're like, "Like I said, Trump can't swim." But then you look at it and you're like, but the motherfucker walked on water. <laughs> Why would you need to swim if you walked on water? Like, it doesn't make sense. I, so, like, and then you go, well, maybe the media is fake and full of shit. Maybe they're, they're lying to me. What the hell's going on? Maybe this guy's right. Right. Yeah, <laughs> yeah Which, you, you don't, you don't, you don't know who to trust anymore. You and know? he's fucking playing the shit out of all of them. It's great. Well, I, I uh, okay, so... We both voted uh, Gary Johnson. Yeah. And, um, but, like, like, during that election process i can't i kind of i kind of ignored trump because he's an asshole i'm an asshole that's the best way you deal with an asshole you just kind of ignore them like they whatever um but i kept seeing all these like uh like videos posted it, it was like what a- msm and a- msmc posts and what the actual full like video is and it was like well, what they were posting was like edited as fuck. Fuck the Muslims. Fuck gays. Fuck. It was like weird. Yeah. It like, but then if you actually watch the actual unedited version, it sounds like a dude who's like, "Hey, immigration kind of sucks. We should do better." Right. Yeah. Like it was. I mean, obviously he's not a guy that knows better, but he, <laughs> he he's just saying we could do better. Like, but they vilified him. It was. Yeah. They, uh, it, it was. Te- yeah. It bugs so- me. So he's not wrong when they say when he says fake news. He's not wrong. Yeah, I know. He's not. So I got a question for you. Yes. So who do you think would win in a fist fight? Biden or Cheney? Wow. Cheney <laughs> I said the same dirt. thing. Wow. Cheney, 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 <laughs> Cheney dirty, so I don't think Biden would live. Cheney, Cheney would do like he's but got Cheney, some Cheney doesn't poison get it. on the gloves. Cheney doesn't get it. Shit. Cheney's got a heart in the back, ready to no, go. Like. No, Cheney doesn't get a shotgun, and there's it's bare, <laughs> bare knuckle fight. Bare knuckle fight. But clean, well... We'll say they're going to go in clean. Cheney so, and Biden. Well, I mean, fuck. I'm gonna, and I'm gonna, we're going to do it. We're going to do it at their heydays. So when they're vice president. So, wow. so Cheney's not in a wheelchair. Not almost dead. Yeah. I think Biden's got him on reach. And Probably. I, think, I, I feel like Biden might be more athletic. But he's a Democrat. But, so but Biden's lose. never had balls. <laughs> Biden's never had balls. He's going to get tapped once and he's going to be like, oh. I think. Oh that, no! Oh no! Th- this is to the death. Right. Celebrity deathmatch style. I think he'd get hit once or twice and he'd cry. And Cheney would just go in hard until that motherfucker's dead. He'd be like, I'll bomb your whole fucking place. It's like 9-11. I'll bomb my shit. I'll bomb your shit, motherfucker. I'll bomb my own fucking office. Hashtag I'll bomb en- you too. Hashtag Enron. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> shit. I'll send a goddamn cruise missile into my own fucking ho- hallway while I'm working at the desk. And then I'm going to get in a fist fight with you, fucking Democrat. Get the fuck out of here. So uh, how do you feel about Nancy Pelosi? 
And why is she your no, favorite? But nobody, wants to, <laughs> nobody wants to feel Nancy Pelosi. That bitch has been asleep at the wheel for the longest time. I mean, how she's even, how she's even still forming coherent sentences is beyond me. You know, she's... You know, she's going to be Speaker of the House again. I mean, if you I just listen to her in slow motion, it's like, how is she still functioning? How is that brain still operating? Because you can see the eyes. They're searching around. like look at, they're, they're looking around in the fucking maze of fucking cobwebs that is her brain now. Like, f- to finish her sentence. Like, have you noticed that when she's oh, like, yeah. talking? Well, she's you know, you know she, apparently she's been diagnosed with dementia, apparently. Like, or unofficially diagnosed. That makes complete sense. So... Who knows? Wait, you guys did didn't know that she literally sits in a vat of formaldehyde? Like, <laughs> you know that? I thought that was Ginsburg. Oh, so yes. <laughs> yeah, they're not going to let her die. Oh, God. They'll oh, have yeah. The whole but Supreme Court to herself. At least she's a tough bitch. Like, I'll give her credit. Yeah, she's a, she's a beast. Have you, she, you know she has a daily workout, <laughs> 95 years old. She works out every fucking day. Damn, she's yeah. going to live forever. It's yeah. probably the first robot they ever made. I guarantee you, you know what's going to happen? Skynet is going to come from her. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Judgment day, bro. You know, you know what's going to happen? I have a feeling she's already dead and they have a robot in her place. Some and shit they don't, like that. And they don't, she, looks, she just looks dead. They don't, want, they, don't want, they don't want Trump to have another Supreme Court nominee. No, that would make, what, three? It. Yeah. Or I think that's two. That's, that's two, two that he's got. Yeah. So, yeah. I and mean, that's a pretty good win. Just to put two people on the Supreme Court is like a big fuck Especially you in everybody. your first, first fucking presidency. She... But... Mind you, the guy, um, 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 who is Kavanaugh replacing? I don't know. Shit, if I know. I don't, yeah, I don't remember. Nobody knows. But, by the way, that guy, that guy decided, I'm going to retire now. He looked at Trump. He looked at the political re- landscape. He's We're like, not talking about Clarence Thomas? No. No, no, no. No, 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 no. no, no he's still on there. Yeah, he's still no, there. But, Asshole. But, but this is, like, a highly intelligent person who's been, been on there for decades. He said, he looked at, at like, Trump's political party. Everything that that's going on, he's like, you know what? It's a good time to go out. I kind of uh, like his judgment. I mean, where was he wrong? Like, I'm sure he talked to Trump. I'm sure he talked to Kavanaugh. I'm sure he talked to a lot of people. And he decided this is the best time to go out. Yeah. Do you really want to argue the dude who's been there for like 30, 40 years? You know, you know who you need to watch out for for the next election? John Kasich. Kasich. Yeah. Cause he actually never stopped campaigning. By the way, I like yeah. I like kind of liked him. I I, I, I really, do and I don't. This is what I think. Uh, I think Trump's gonna make a. He's out, I, I for sure he's gonna go for a second term. I don't know if he's gonna get it. We'll see. I, it's a toss up. You will. Because I've seen a lot of. So like I'm a I'm a borderline convert. Depending on on who the third parties are running for president, I might vote for Trump this time around. Maybe I, I'm not sold on it. Um, we're but we're audience members like yeah you know but well, there's also a lot of people who have trump regret they're like yeah i don't know but i think there's also a lot of converts that are like fuck yeah trump's doing great this is beautiful so he may he may pull it out again i don't know i think yeah. i was one of those i was like god damn we're gonna hire the fucking celebrity apprentice guy <laughs> <laughs> but who did you vote for he had business acumen yeah you know so and the and part of the reason the stock market is doing so well is because they know they know Trump is a businessman and they right. know okay he's not going to tax the shit out of us he's not going to drive us to have to do these things so we can pull our money back to the, the states we can invest in things and not have to pay the extra taxes because he's not going to railroad us right right so all of a sudden you have more investment in business and what does that do guess what that's more fucking jobs like a- and makes perfect sense and more money for everybody right like and. Trump knows that the economy is based off, like, like um, faith in the market. Right. Uh, well, it's sort of like a mass psychology. Yeah. If, ever, if, ever, if everyone believes in it, it'll do better. He goes, yeah, we're, we're at three, but we could do four. Right. Like, and here and we are. And here we are four. Like, yeah. you talk people into this shit. Like, my company, for example, before he became president, they were talking about doing massive layoffs and getting rid of a, a huge portion of the workforce. They're still talking about doing, getting rid of a portion of the workforce, but it's mostly the older guys that are coming, coming close to retirement anyway. Right. They're just riding it out. Like they're, they could retire now. They're just whatever. Right. They're talking about getting rid of those, those jobs. And now they've started talking about next year they're going to hire more people because yeah. the economy is doing good. Like, right. They got corporate tax savings. Yeah. A hell of a lot more. So it's like. When's your boss right. coming on? Oh, in December. <laughs> I'm so, so excited. He's a, he's a fucking Trekkie, and I want to grill him a, a little bit. Oh, shit. Yeah. I started studying the Ferengi rules of, of uh, acquisition. Oh, Christ almighty. I think I, that's Deep Space Nine. Yes. 
I, uh, I, I wow. He, court. Like, he yeah. knew that. He knew that. Okay. <laughs> we didn't coach him. Okay. Yeah, Despite your pecs, you, you've got a, a little nerd in you. Oh, absolutely. Motherfucker. I've got goddamn anime tattoos from Japan all over my goddamn nice. body. Nice. <laughs> you know, uh, it's it's marked on my flesh. Do you do you uh, have other uh, any other nerdum? No, I mean, well, shit. I mean, just lay it out. Just lay it. Out. Th- that's what I would say. That's uh, you know, it's like Star Trek and Star Wars, and I mean, all, all the stuff that you know us kids in our, the '80s and '90s generation we liked. You know, we yeah. grew up and enjoying. I'm totally into that stuff. You know, I mean, who who the fuck wouldn't you know like He Man and. G.I. Joe and shit like that. As he's wearing a He-Man shirt. Right, of course. course. Sup, ladies. (laughs) We'll put that picture up later. Best $7 I ever spent. (laughs) (laughs) $7? You can't beat a Chinese bargain. Yeah, right. Dude, speaking of import-export. You've seen my Donald Pump shirt, right? Absolutely. It's fucking amazing. I love that shirt. I got that one. Well, I went on a tirade. So there's a website called uh, Mm AmericanIsFuck.com. And it's all veteran run, mm-hmm. and they have all these. Like, well, I got one on now. It's I know it with yes. the. It's the Rambo picture, but it's Ronald Reagan. Wonderfully blended, by the yeah, way. Like it actually looks like it's his face. Yeah, and it's a uh, Raging Ronald it's instead of Rambo. Good. It's good. <laughs> I wish I owned that shirt. I would turn it into a stringer in two seconds. Uh, and yeah, su- no, uh, and no, suddenly no, all my liberal friends love Ronald Reagan. Like <laughs> hate it for years. <laughs> suddenly he doesn't seem that bad anymore. I wonder why that is. Hashtag context. <laughs> oh, yeah, I wonder why that is. That's yeah. Facts, man. Eventually, everybody will come back together. We'll stop being such weak-minded little pussies. Oh, that's what you need. World War Three. You know what? It- and the fat, fat draft. Every fucking college student that can't do more than five pull-ups, we're drafting you. Oh. And I have a theory. About I, that. I, I, You're I gonna be the fucking meat shield first. I don't mean to interrupt you. But, you know, like, that's how we're going to toughen up the nation. Like, either you're going to fucking make it or you're going to break it. I don't like, leave you dead I don't on like, a fucking beach in the foreign country somewhere. I don't like the idea of a draft. Only because of this. The reason our military is so successful at what we do and we're so good at what we do is because we're 100% volunteer. Absolutely. Now, because, now, now we are. Because everybody we that's there. We weren't before Vietnam, by Because everybody that's there doesn't have a better op- Not that they don't have a better option, but they want to fucking be there. They have to right, be there, right, right. and they, they're I putting agree. out. I agree. That's what they told you in Marine, Marine Boot Camp. Yes. Yeah. But what I would <laughs> say is, with all the beta males and the soy boys we have out there, we need a... But they're so cute. ...an easy way to eliminate them. <laughs> okay? No, no, I say we... I think first blood in combat being the first line out the goddamn gate would be an easy way. How about, how about you just line up, I'll punch you in the face... <laughs> and if you actually take the punch, you're tax free for two years. That's a good idea, actually. You know, you know what it is. It's well, be, 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 because there's something about being punched in the face. It, oh like, yeah, no, it it, it it narrows your perspective, changes your priorities. Suddenly, you don't care about Caitlyn, Brent, Br- Bruce, something. Gen- yeah. so suddenly, you don't right. care about that. Suddenly, you just go, "How can I not get punched in the face again?" <laughs> suddenly, oh wait, what are those? Oh yeah, balls drop. Like like something. Th- right. It, like, it it narrows your field of vision. Your it narrows narrows your priorities. Everybody should get punched in the face at eighteen. Well, I'm not punching the females though. That's, that's not what I do. <laughs> Pussy. <laughs> Look, some of them might need it. Yeah, some of them. Some of them. Yeah. <laughs> Have you ever seen uh, Fight Club? Yes, of course. That's I one f- of my bibles. I feel like Fight Club has become more and more relevant. Yes. Especially more recently, because the whole concept of, of consumer horizon. Yes. Mm-hmm. And and. Yes. Being and a man and being an adult and and finding, I guess, a voice and, and being and an adult but not I don't know and being cut out of wood, yeah, Th- that hurts. It should hurt. What is it's what, worth it, what it, it means to uh, be a man? What is the what is the definition of a man? Is it the guy in the Calvin Klein underwear or you know right. the guy going the man to fight club? Defend his, yeah. defend his family. Yeah, teach them how to defend themselves and provide. Yeah, you know, and be a good role model for the children to look up to. Yeah. you can't do that when you're. Complaining about identity politics and trying to decide what gender you're going to be this morning. I, <laughs> I literally have a friend. I don't give a shit. John Snap, you're a pussy. Um, he literally came out as gender non-binary. He's just a dude. He's a dude I've drank with. I've hung out with him. He's a cool guy. He came out, he came out as gender non-binary. Oh, my God. How many women have to screw you over till you decide you're not a real man? I'm sorry. Gender non-binary. Like, it's... Right. It's, it's, you know what it, do it's you need a separate want, category? It's people that want recognition Attention. or people that want to be special for nothing. Without, for nothing, without having to put work in, right, without right. having to be exceptional. Like, no, I was born <laughs> exceptional, so this is my... Th- fuck you. Right, right. 
Fuck and, you. And, and of the and not to touch on and and uh, berate anybody in the transgender community or you know just, just gender dysmorphia. It's right? an actual thing, right? right. Yeah. Uh, I think a lot of it stems from the trendiness of it in society. Yeah. And either a you know I got a couple good friends and they're not going to want to admit it. But the reason they are the way they are is because they come from seriously broken fucking homes with abusive ass fucking parents. And it's a self protection me- mechanism, especially when your parent is a, either a fucking rapist or a molester or something like that. Yeah. And you're a girl and you transition to a boy, then he's not fucking raping you. That's a good solution. And kids do whatever they fucking need to do to protect themselves. And it, it's a young, fragile mind like that. Who's to fucking say what they want to do? And that, I think, is part of what's happening as well. Yeah. You know? Bring it in. Right? You need a hug. <laughs> no, I, mean, no, I feel like you're talking about you. <laughs> no, a, I'm well secure in my position, that's for sure. Where, yeah. did, he, where did he touch you? On the doll. Show me. <laughs> you know, like... No, but I you're right. I, could, you're... I don't think I could grow, grow a beard like this if I didn't have adequate testosterone levels. Yeah. It wouldn't, hap- it wouldn't have happened. No, <laughs> no but you're right. Have... Like, you need, like, good... Like, like I'm, I'm so fu- fucking hammering out like, like an actual good like relationship role model. I didn't grow up with like actual good relationship role models. I don't want the right. l- like, right. like the like the re- relationship my parents had. Fuck no, I don't. Right. I don't want that shit. Uh, but yeah. by the way, you, you're younger than me, and you're my relationship model, Matt. Sorry. I, 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 I mean, I don't know if I'm a good model, but I mean. Is it working? No, well, I mean, working? everybody it has work? that. Does it work? Everybody has that problem that they had when they were growing up. There's always some fucking mystery or issue that people grow up with, right? Um, and then you all learn how to deal with that in one, one fucking way. But most of us come out undamaged. Some of us come out fucking strangling puppies and, <laughs> and having some sex people with like, cats and shit. But. And some people <laughs> like, like make it define themselves. Like, I'm a victim. Give me money. Like, right, the victimhood I, mentality is really weak-minded. I absolutely, don't like, I don't like to see that at all. I, don't, I refuse to be a victim. I am not. Not that I'm gonna, you know, I don't want to have the victim mentality. You know, I didn't have every opportunity everyone else did. But am I a victim because of that? No. Right. And I was I, given I, opportunities, I, and I took the opportunities I was given, and I've made the best of them. I capitalized on them because I'm right. a fucking capitalist and a patriot. But, but you've never been actually victimized. You've been raped. You've no. been abused. No. Okay, I've had some of those. But, um, but we should not be rewarding we, victims. We yeah. should be empowering them. Agreed. Your perspe- perspective as a victim is useful, and it's very interesting. And, but it doesn't make your perspective any better than anybody fucking but else. I'm also not, not going to let victimhood define who I am either. But you've like, n- never been a victim, so that's, that's not about you. So m- move on. I am a victim. Not, of what? Racism. Move on. <laughs> Yo, being in, being in Miami, yeah. being, being oh my white, God, I'm you're a fucking so minority. White. Oh, you poor thing. I'm a minority yeah. here. I'm a minority here. Apparently, I'm, I'm the actually only minority here, but you can't see it. I'm not that <laughs> minority. Yeah. It, t- it touches so, on that, too. You know, when I hear, like, oh, you, white, you had white privilege. It's funny because... Why, my what? White, Why what? Like, Why what? When, you know, when someone tells you, oh, you had white... I've had a couple of people all yell out, oh, it's white privilege cracker over here or some shit. You know, like, yeah. nonsensical trash that comes from left-wing fucking media that's programming weak minds to say that stupid shit to people when they get braved. Yeah. Why you'd want to say it to me? You're a fucking idiot. <laughs> You're looking for trouble. I... But, I heard it was a thing. I've been trying to cash in my white privilege like five right, years that's, now. See, that's the problem. Like, I had to work for every single thing that I got. I never got anything for free. And then boiling it down to, oh, but you had white privilege. It sounds like, well, you got it easy. No, motherfucker. I never had it Somebody easy. Somebody gave you $200. It's just, that, yeah. it's just that someone wants to tell you that if you don't have the same skin color as me, you're at a disadvantage. And you believe that. That's why they say, oh, because you had white privilege. No. We all have the same privileges and rights in this fucking country. We can all get the same fucking job, go to the same supermarket, buy the same fucking foods. Yep. Nobody's, nobody has a barrier to anything in this country. And to say, oh, 300 years ago, some Africans sold other Africans to fucking Dutch that brought us here is because why I fucking have a shit-ass job or I'm sitting on the couch fucking collecting EBT or whatever the fuck instead of working, that's a cop-out. And then blaming, oh, a white privilege gave him that. No, motherfucker, I woke up at 6.30 every fucking morning, went to the gym, and then went to work for 12 hours a day every fucking day. Well, that's why that's, that's, I joined the military out of high school, because I not, didn't set myself up for options, and I realized that, right. and I realized I couldn't be the lazy bum, and I went and did my time. And it was fucking and, great, too, because it puts you in that mode where you're like, I'm going to get up and go. Like, I can't, yeah. I can't sleep in past 5.30 if I fucking try. 
I couldn't sleep. I mean, I'm, I'm up by 5, 15, 5.30 every morning on the goddamn dime. That's part of the reason I get up at 4 o'clock in the morning still. 6.30. And I go get it. 6.30 in the Air Force. Right. Yeah, 6.30 mm-hmm. in the Air Force after mimosas. Yeah. <laughs> I, right. I see you. I see you every Open morning. Open bar in the gym was too. in my contract. You know, we're in there. I mean, if, if it's it's why I'm there at four thirty in the morning, and that's I go there, do that, walk the dog, go go make breakfast, uh, you know, relax my mind a little bit, and then I go to work. Right. And right. do my shift. Best like, way. But but what I don't want to do is I don't want to ignore the fact that there is actual racism in this country. No, it's absolutely right. it's there. It's I, absolutely there. Right. I'm not done talking. Sorry. Um, go ahead. <laughs> <clears throat> like what you were saying. Like I agree. You wake up, you, you do stuff. You might, uh, some people might actually live in a part, in a part of this country where it is racist. You cannot get a job. You cannot, you cannot rise any higher than you can uh, uh, at the point you started at. But America is so fucking awesome. You know why? Because it's about, it's a land of opportunity, but no guarantee. So right. let, let's say you grew up in like a really shitty part of town, a shitty part, a shitty part of the state. Let's say you're in Alabama. I'm sorry. Um, let's say you're there, and every opportunity is not granted to you. Here's what America does: it allows you to, to go to a different part of the country, make your money, come back, buy that neighborhood. The dude that like denied you a bank loan or denied you a job, marry his daughter, and then bang his wife for for good measure. That's what America's about. Well, like, okay, for for example, yeah, I cannot go any higher in the company I'm at. Okay. If I wanted to get into the management section or anything like that, I will have to move. Damn it, Verizon! I will I will have to move. <laughs> you know why? Because there's legit a Cuban mafia thing going on, and I am white. You're what? I am white. How long and, and have I, you been like hiding this from me? Uh, six months. <laughs> <laughs> Under I, the beard. I, I caught it. And white complexion. <laughs> yeah, but it's a real thing. I'm not. I know if, there's no way I'll be a manager down here, or if, or any other higher position. I'll have to. I would have to move mm-hmm. to another location to, to move up, and I know that, and that's okay. I'm alright with it. I'm also good with where I'm at. I don't want to go higher, but right, yeah. in a nice comfortable area. <laughs> yeah, I'm comfortable. I don't, minimal responsibility. I get to go to work and go home. <laughs> I don't. I don't really have to. Answer for anything other than my own actions. I don't have to worry about other people. Like, yeah, I like that. I'm good. Happy. I fucking love the country. It's n- it's not about what's right or best or wrong. It's about what what you can sell people. It's yeah. the only country where you can beat people up for a living. <laughs> yeah. We are actually, in fact, the most free country ever because you can be anything in this country. Mm-hmm. Be anything. You can be black. You can be, you can be gay. You can be a racist. It's okay to be a racist in the country. It's not okay to do racist things. But you can be anything. Try being, I don't know, a lesbian, white woman in the Middle East. Try it out. Stoned to death. Uh, you were dead before I finished that sentence. Yeah. You're fucking dead. Mm, you can well, be anything. in the, you, We you, have constitutionally protected free speech. And yeah. that's what... I think that is the, the prime source that separates us from the rest it's of the world. It's bigger than that. It's, for, it, 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 it's free existence. You can be a thing. Yeah. Right. I'm going to say something really fucked up. You're actually allowed to be a pedophile in, in this country. You can't fuck kids, but you can <laughs> be a pedophile. <laughs> yeah, the minute you fuck a kid, you're going to jail. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Don't cross that line, pedophiles Here's your bubble. Out there. Here's your Please bubble. Please don't. Yeah. Oh my god! Reminder you can't, you from can't, all the people you that can't will even fucking have... kill you in prison. Like, yeah, right? the, like the most fucked up thing that, that I can say is that uh, white, uh, black lives matter, but go home, and white supremacists have rights in this country. Like, <laughs> you'll be like ostracized from every person ever. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm not wrong. No. Yeah. Well, if you are a pedophile and you go to jail, you're gonna die. That's. Uh, I know. I know a couple guys that work in prisons, and they all they all told me like, yeah, the pedophiles get treated the worst. And, 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 we're, and we're like, and we're like, I remember oh, telling them like, so like you guys treat them like shit. They're like, no, 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 we don't. We just, you know, Kill we them. give them a, a lot of uh, leeway and space, and the other inmates handle everything. Yeah. <laughs> Hold on, I'm trying to find a tear. Yeah, no tears. Not a single one. At, at least that's a nice thing about prison, right? The child rapists and shit. They always get their asses killed or beat the fuck down. There's a hierarchy to the. That's a nice. <laughs> right, yeah, they're like, oh, okay, what are you in for? Bank job? You did some cool shit? What, you brought in 50 keys? No, I fucked two six-year-old girls. Oh, you shouldn't have, oh, you shouldn't have told us that. You did, huh? Yeah. Okay. Well, I don't know about you, but someone that sells drugs, they ain't fucked up in the head. And if I had, let's say, sold some whatever the fuck, and I got a, 
a, a, you know, if I got bunked with a guy that told me, oh, yeah, I got off for raping six, five-year-old girl, some creepy fucking shit like that. Yeah. And I'm stuck there for 20 years. I'd be like, you know what? I'm going to have some fun with this motherfucker. You know? you, fuck it, you already got 20 years. What are you going to lose? Especially yeah. if you're a lifer. Dude, I'll kill uh, everybody if like, I'm a lifer. Like, like okay. I'm going to spend 20 years in here, but I'm going to get some universal karma. So when I do fucking die, God's going to welcome me with open arms because I've been his goddamn vindicator in this prison. <laughs> Every last child molester comes into these gates. I'm a fucking one piece. You know what I mean? So he does know Big Red. Oh. <laughs> right, he's going to help me facilitate the whole goddamn thing. He's got the keys. You know? Yeah, he was. We just posted up his second show, and he was like, <laughs> "We're talking about visiting people at work," and he's like, "Don't visit me at work. <laughs> I don't want to see you at work." <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, okay. yeah. <laughs> so, I've I've been on this thing for a while. I've mm. said it a couple times now, and uh, I just think it's hilarious. And I can't. I, th- I think about it all the time. I want to make one now. Uh, the celebrity death match. Right. I want Andrew Jackson versus Elizabeth Warren. (laughs) (laughs) I want it so fucking bad. It's not about who wins. It's about after it's over, the DNA test like sort sort of like follow follows to the ground. Like I'm really good. Like I'm gonna start looking into how to do claymation, and I'm gonna fucking make it happen myself. Oh don't don't tease me. (laughs) Don't don't tease me. Elizabeth Warren. What a fucking joke that shit was, bro. I didn't realize. I was like. A thousand percent more native than, than she is. It like, goes to show me, though, like, I fucked up on my college applications, bro. I should have put Native American black fucking alien. No, you, know, you like, should just check marks every box, because fuck it. Who cares? What does yeah. it matter? Like, that's amazing to me. Yeah, it's beautiful. That, that you literally get into a goddamn top tier <laughs> Ivy League school just for saying, I'm a special way. I'm a thing. I'm a thing. Well, and apparently there was like a whole. Th- a whole deal about her being employed there, yeah. As they counted she, her as a minority, yeah. <laughs> and she got bumped a bump in pay of some sort, probably. I, I imagine it was so. Like no, no, grand or something. She, no, she, I'm she, sure didn't, she, had, she didn't get bumped bump in pay, but she did get the fucking job because of yeah. what's called affirmative something. Affirmative action. There you go. <laughs> Bless you. Is this live? No. Okay. No. It comes on later. Yeah, it comes yeah. on later. But we don't edit, so I'm just nice. letting you know. Okay. He's so like, all right, good. All right. Killed. I'm going to get killed eventually. Okay. No why? worries, man. Why, what, wait, why? No, I'm not. Why would you? I don't know. The government's listening. You're literally sitting next to it. I'm trying to think if I divulge any information, they'll get me shot in the back of the head. No. <laughs> we're actually pretty good about that. It's this an, is why we an, drink it's outside. It's common worry, you know? This is why we drink outside and talk. Yeah. What's your name? The Viking. Yes. The Viking. We have a code. Code word. No. That's your name. Yes. <laughs> Bless you. My synonym. A pseudonym? Yeah, a pseudonym. So who do you think should be the Speaker of the House? Oh, and why do you think man. it should be Nancy you know Pelosi? What? I think it should, be, <laughs> it should be someone completely fucking random. It doesn't have to be a member of Congress or, or, or the fucking House, I believe. Yeah, it could be anybody. It could be anybody. So you want so let's Ocasio-Cortez. Have, <laughs> I would love to run her down with a fucking steamroller. Did I text you, though, by the way? My, um... Oh, yeah. This guy, this guy texted me the other day, and he goes, he's like, oh... My buddy's worried about Ocasio Cortez, you know, running for president and this and that. But I told him, don't worry, she's gonna have a sex tape out. It's gonna ruin everything. Probably. And he's like, if she, if she doesn't, I'll make one for her. I'll take one for the team. <laughs> <laughs> and no, 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 don't stop. I started a totally bullshit band, which is the the Ocasio Cortez secret socialist sex tape. <laughs> First album. Uh. She's so fucking stupid too. Oh, it's but like it's like they. How do you? How but she's got. But she's like, she's got how crazy are you so eyes. So fucking stupid that you vote for someone like that. We're she's, just gonna she, we're just gonna give away free everything and like we're just stupid. gonna we're just she's gonna we're just not, gonna, fucking, we're just gonna pay for it. Stu- we're just gonna stupid. pay for it. Gonna, like, she's not gonna stupid. No, no, it. no. Ben Shapiro has, has been talking about it. She's not stupid. In interviews, she comes off as stupid. Right. She is not fucking stupid. Uh. She apparently couldn't afford an apartment in right, D.C. Right. She has 50 fucking grand. She's fine. But she put the shit out to make it seem like she's broke. Why? No. What is the to angle? connect to her what people. Is the angle exactly. There, right? To connect exactly. to her people. To connect to the poor people. Yeah. Because she think had. Like, so, right? Do yeah, you actually I fall- could see that angle. I'm like, oh, I can't pay my rent. Everybody's like, oh, I can't pay my fucking rent. Oh, shit. She could yeah. fucking f- they start a uh, fund me and she's good. Like, you know what's. Okay, so right. this, this is what yeah. drives me crazy. She's like, oh. But she doesn't need it. Point. She's like, oh, we're going to spend money on everything, and 
you know, money's money's okay. We can just print more. Right. And she, and every time somebody asks her, like, well, you know, we have. She doesn't even say that. She just says, pay for it. Yeah. Pay for it. Every time somebody's like, well, why are we going to spend money on that? She's like, well, we spent all this money on the Iraq war and all this money here and all this money there. And I'm like, well, one bad financial decision doesn't mean we should make two. All right. And continue what, what, on that yeah, like, downward trend. That's why like, we have $20 trillion. Do we actually yeah. have a receipt we can turn in for the Iraq war where we get $2 trillion? Here's, here's, a, here's a big news flash. In 2020, the interest of our national debt will be larger than our GDP. This is a very real thing. Yay! This is a very dangerously real thing, and yeah. we definitely need to start st- or stop spending fucking money on a federal level because one of two things has to happen. Either we're going to collect massive amounts of taxes. Kind of have high price situation. All, all, the, all the money. All the, all the money, yeah. like ridiculously high taxes to, to pay this off, or we're going to stop spending money. And this and this is the problem. <laughs> That's not and this is the problem that comes with raising taxes. Every time historically in this country, every time we have raised taxes, it has never been to pay off an existing debt. It has been to start a new program. Every time taxes get raised, a new program is started. Right. Every single time, it has never been different than that, and I don't expect it to ever be different than that. Right. So the only way to save ourselves financially and save the dollar bill, so we don't wind up like Venezuela, is to stop spending fucking money. Like. Also, don't eat your kids. Yeah, don't eat your kids. That's another another thing. Yeah, yeah I'm not joking. Idea. Those were actual posters that that were put up during um, <laughs> communist Russia. That was a thing. Don't, <laughs> don't eat your kids. I'm not joking. Really? Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> do you actually listen to Jordan Peterson? Because he talks about this shit. Sometimes I do. I read his book and then that was it. I've, I've heard. I've kept up with him lately. I've heard it four times. You're right. So we're, right. we're back with gay talk. <laughs> so. <laughs> I just found out you've never seen Pumping Iron. This is correct. Yes. What the fuck? How can I, I actually <laughs> perform the pumps instead of watching the pumps? Okay, no. Okay, it's on Netflix right now. You need to go watch Pumping Iron. Tell me, tell me about it. Watch Lay Pumping it Iron. Lay okay, it so it is. It follows Arnold, okay, and Franco Colombo, and Lou Ferrigno. Who? Okay, I can get behind that. That's oh, cool. you mean the the original, fucking Hulk? Yeah, Lou Ferrigno. Yeah. And it, w- it was before Lou Ferrigno had won anything, really, or against Arnold had won anything. So it, it's Arnold's last uh, Mr. Olympia, and it's awesome. So the, he goes through his whole training. It's, it's all, I think it's like a year leading up to the competition. They're following all these people because, you know, they have the weight classes, too. So Franco Colombo and Arnold are, like, different inseparable. Classes, right? Yeah, and they're different weight classes because Franco Colombo is, like, he was probably He's short. He's short guy. Eight, yeah, like he was shorter, but he was probably more ripped than Arnold. And, like, just from size alone was probably bigger than Arnold, like, per pound. But not over six feet. Yeah, but he wasn't tall enough to compete in Arnold's weight class. Right, right. Him and Arnold, if they were the same size, I would have loved to see them compete each other. That would have been awesome to watch. But it would have been synonymous. Yeah. But But uh, you also would have watched it and jerked off to it. Probably. Yeah. Yeah. No, this this (laughs) movie is great. It is so fucking good. So you watch and just listening to Arnold talk, you're like, holy shit, this guy's great. So they they ask him, they're like, hey, what... uh, I forget the question exactly. Like, are you worried about... It was basically along the lines of, are you worried about Lou Ferrigno? Like, and he's like, no. I taught Lou Ferrigno how to work out. I taught him everything he knows. I get in his head, and, you know, it's beautiful. He's like, I taught him everything he knows. I tell him... And then he starts going on. He's like, people ask me for workout tips, and I tell him the weirdest shit. I tell him you have to grunt when you lift, otherwise it doesn't work. And then it shows this guy in the gym like, ah, ah. <laughs> and he's like, what the fuck? <laughs> And then it follows Lou Ferrigno. And, you know, Arnold's working out at Gold's Gym in California, and he's got all these other bodybuilders there, and they're all doing their thing. And then uh, Lou Ferrigno's working out in, like, a basement in New Jersey with his dad. Like, <laughs> and the whole time he's working out, he's doing these, uh, he's doing butterflies. And it's, it's, he's not doing skippy weight. He's doing butterflies, like 100-pound dumbbells. I did him in Iraq following his procedure, because that yeah. motherfucker has, like, impeccable joints. Yeah. He knows how to, like, work out. Exactly. So the whole time he's doing it, every time he fucking gets to the peak of the lift, he goes, Arnold! <laughs> Arnold! <laughs> Hug the tree. Yeah. Hug the tree. So the, the whole time he was working out, they, they ask him every, everything he says. He just goes, I'm coming for Arnold. I'm going to get Arnold. And they keep talking about how his arms are bigger than Arnold's. But Arnold is just, he's just perfectly Do they chiseled. talk about like, how he's God deaf, damn. though? Do they talk about how he's deaf, though? No. No. <laughs> he's deaf as shit. Yeah, I know. And they show, they show Lou Ferrigno. <laughs> I, mean, I, or, uh, I met him in Dallas like 20 years ago. Not Lou Ferrigno. Franco Colombo. Uh, they show him. Oh. Uh, he's in Italy or some shit. Because I guess he started out as a boxer. 
and then got into the bodybuilding thing. And they show him uh, the car that they drove to this place to do the interview gets stuck in a parallel parking spot. Like two cars get too close, he couldn't get it out. And I he saw walks that over. Part. <laughs> he walks over and picks up the back of this car <laughs> <laughs> and moves it. And you're like, what the fuck? <laughs> But, of course, Arnold wins the Mr. Olympia, and there's this whole big thing. They have a big party, and they show up, and Arnold's there on a couch wearing this homemade T-shirt that has, like, iron-on letters that says, Arnold is numero uno. And he's got this big-ass joint in his hand and this big-ass smile, and he's laid back, and he's like, Arnold is numero uno. (laughs) (laughs) Numero uno. (laughs) Like, not giving a fuck. Like, all right. If that shirt was made today, it would just say MAGA. (laughs) <laughs> the funny thing is, is this guy, I mean, think about the power of will of Arnold Schwarzenegger, right? Oh. He wanted to marry a Kennedy, did it. Wanted to be a fucking political figure, did it. Wanted to be Mr. Olympia and Mr. whatever the fuck, did it. Knocked it out the park. Wanted to be a professional movie star, did it. Did it. Knocked it out the park. Like, Greatest action, action movie star of all time, arguably. What the fuck? I mean, the power of will of that man's mind is, is amazing. Just and just, just Conan the Barbarian, enough for me, solidified everything. I was like, that's it's it beyond will, though. It was will, opportunity. It was like, it was like everything coming, coming together. Um, he's, he's the definition of the American dream. He's, like, he's also a best-selling author. He's a little-known fact. He made his money uh, at first the, in real estate. Yeah. He really? Was, yeah. Before he, uh, actually, before he won his first Mr. Olympia, he was a millionaire from real estate. Him didn't, and Franco Colombo actually started he, like, a company. Didn't he, like, own were, the gym that he was working out in? Yeah, he, like, yeah. he owned the gym he, he started over there in Cali. Oh, shit. Yeah. So he was actually a millionaire wow. before he got into bodybuilding from his real estate investments and stuff. That's and then, amazing. Uh, when he won his first Mr. Olympia, he was like, he got all these endorsements, and then he was like, why do I need these companies? Fuck them. And he started his own nutrition companies and everything, like... Dude's that's, a G. That's like why I wanted Fuck, to do mine. Like, you know, why am I buying another company's free workout when I can fucking make my own and make it ten times better and make it for half the price? Yeah. Why not? And then have the bragging rights too. Like, oh, that's just mine. Yeah. Who makes it? My fucking company does. You know, like I do. Got, it's got a gangster ass fucking sound to it. Yeah. Well, you know what What's it is. What's called again? Ten ton hammer. Ten ton. Oh, ten ton hammer. I'm sorry. What? <laughs> ten ton hammer. I'm, I'm asking him. Yeah, that's it's a fucking just you know like something <laughs> fucking hard. He can't say that. You know, what's it called? Ten ton hammer. There we go. There it is. Uh, I had to give it like some flair, you know, some <laughs> sexy flair. I want to hear commercials for it. We got to do some commercials. <laughs> oh, <yeah>. ten <laughs> ton hammer. No, no, it's got to be fucking you know, hardcore with machi- like machine death metal goats and like machine, machine heads. Head, machine head has a song called Ten Ton Hammer. I know. It was one of their their first like breakout songs. Mm-hmm. It was really good. It's a good. It's a good. Uh, well, I'm not gonna fucking use the, their song. That you should. You should be steal it. Of rights. You should steal it. I'd have to ask it. them. I'd probably have to ask them. Yeah, I guys. Think you, I think. I think they'd be all right with it. Maybe. Probably. Yeah. Like, look, I'll hook it up. We'll go to the gym. Let's fuck some shit up. Mm. Don't be gay. We don't need no lawyers. You know who you should hook up with? Uh, Tim Lambesis or whatever his name is from As I Lay Dying. Huge, huge gym rat. Dude loves to work out. Oh yeah. Uh, he just got out of prison for. Uh, oh fuck. Trying to hire somebody to kill his wife. Nice, <laughs> but he just got back with the band. They're doing. They just got a new song out. I shouldn't be interfacing with anybody that needs people killed. <laughs> Generally, a bad idea. I'm already working for someone. Yeah, he. Uh, well, <laughs> he's not trying to get anybody killed now. They're, they're divorced. It's over. So. Oh, that's good. <laughs> She's getting alimony. I assume so. I don't know. Contracts on the table. Yeah. <laughs> sure. But yeah, you know, he's, he uh, got back with his band, and they, they just put out a new song. They're recording a new album. I can't wait for it to come out because it's fucking brutal. But it's funny, though, because they were on a... They got they booked this tour in California, and they were supposed to be part of this big festival, and everybody cried out against them because they didn't want to have him there because they are like, oh, he's a fucking wannabe murderer. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, so yeah. so they, they pulled him off the bill, and I'm like, well, fuck That's that. Fun. I want to go see this. I want to see him play again. He does. What kind of music does he play? Uh... Metal. Okay, nice. Fuck yeah. you. But the name of the song they just put out is called uh, "My Own Grave." I like the name of it. One of their, I think it's one of their best songs ever, and it's it is fucking brutal. I've been listening to a lot of Five Finger Death Punch at the gym. Ooh, nice. nice. Their shit has been really good. I like it. They, they have some moments of of extreme brutality, and I'm really impressed that they have a a more of a pop crossover than would be expected from a metal yeah, band. Yeah, I mean, it, I mean, some of their stuff I'm, I'm not a huge fan of, but I still like it in the sense that it's kind of like a bridge, like a, a gap bridge, you know? Like, I hate 
pop music, but I'll take like some pop metal that's got like some gangster hardcore undertones to it. All right, I can get behind that kind of, you know, like it's got maybe a poppy kind of beat, but like the fucking death metal soundtrack to it, you know, like yeah. the fucking vocals to it. I mean, all right, I'll, t- I'll settle. That's so, so when I was playing guitar in the metal band, I had a Justin Timberlake bobblehead and he used to sit on top of my amp and we'd bring it to shows. Where's it now? It fell over and broke. Oh. But it was so awesome because everyone in the band used to give me shit because I listened to Justin Timberlake. Okay. But I had his little bobblehead um, on my amp. Why? He brought <laughs> Sexy back. I know, like, I know. But the other, guys, the other guys in the he band were hardcore like metal, 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 metal. I enjoy all kinds of music. But anyway, every time we played a show, the bobblehead would be there and he would be, the bobblehead would go like, you know, banging his head with the music because of the vibrations from the amp. Mm-hmm. So it was like Justin Timberlake was head banging at my show. <laughs> <laughs> I can get behind that. <laughs> That's perfect. Oh, shit. And then he brought Sexy back. Yes, he did. I did a very good pentagram on your desk here as a signature. So I left a signature with 666, the beast, a pentacle for good luck. And then nice. So and I did put my name in there, too. So, so you like I give you a little bit of Satanism. So, All right. so you're the first guest to not draw draw a dick on no, our fucking no desk. Dicks. Yeah. No, no dicks. I give you like a <laughs> look at all the dick, all the dick. Like a Satanist curse. At least Alger something. like was you know you know he's got you know he's actually seen and enjoys dick. Yeah, we don't. But you had Flip on, huh? He's a good friend of mine. Oh, you know Flip? Oh, you know Flip? oh yeah. yeah, yeah. We had Flip on. I love yeah. Flip. Flip officiated my wedding actually. Hey Flip, stop eating like shit, you fuck. <laughs> you just got called out, bud. You only Mother live twice. Fuck. Yeah, yeah, you only live twice. Stop pushing your fucking luck. He's Love doing you. good. He's Love doing you. good now. Right. He's doing the whole Jeep Swarm thing. No, I know. I watch his fucking food posts, and I'm like, I'm going to fucking kill you. Yeah, his food posts that make me hungry. I'm like, fuck, no, I need to go no, eat. Really? Because I thought he was like a vegan for a while. He should uh, be fucking vegan. He did salads vegan. and motherfucking salads. God damn it, Flip. He's been do- he did vegan for a while, and then I guess So he's... he was just like chewing lawn, lawn cl- clippings? I mean, I don't know. No, that's not a way to live, but Fuck. <laughs> But on the podcast, he said he was not. He he was no, no longer vegan. Yeah, but he said he was more aware of his food now. And I, he's honestly, from when I knew him, when I first met him, he is much healthier. Because when I when I when I first met him, he was a lot bigger. But he also had a lot of things going on yeah. medically. So I mean, whatever. And then, uh, but he after the after he got the LVAC thing, uh, he started living a lot better, and uh, he lost a lot, a significant amount of weight, and looks he yeah. looks healthy now. Like he looks good. Yeah. No, I agree. I just want to give him shit because I see him posting unhealthy stuff and I'm like, you're a motherfucker. <laughs> I can't get away with that like I can. Watch my happy ass die tomorrow. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I love all of you. Oh, we always talk about this on the podcast. And people refuse to tell me, what is fat? I like church girls. No, no, no. What is fat? Fuck I, you, Krebs. I keep hearing about, hearing about fat. I hear it's a thing, but nobody will tell me what it is. Like, what is fat? It's when you eat a lot of food and watch a lot of TV and you don't do anything. What is love? Got to Baby do with it? don't hurt me. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, I baited you. That's what I do. So you love church girls, huh? No comment. No comment? <laughs> <laughs> All right. He's getting anal this weekend. It's fine. <laughs> church girls love anal. Oh my god. They don't love god. it. They have to love it. Yeah, they have to. Jesus oh told them so. God. Because the uh, vagina is uh, the Jesus hole. Yeah. It's, uh, that hole's reserved for Jesus. So yeah. all the other holes are for you. Yeah. Wow. Hashtag, Just, hashtag loophole. There we go. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. This is just too bad. <laughs> this is horrible. Wow. But it's funny. No, yeah. I just, wow. Did, okay, so did you ever see the movie nice, Save? Well, nice way to segue into a, a good conversation. I mean, we just went straight to anal. Fuck. Did you ever see the movie Saved? No. Oh, my God. You need to. Ah, it's so good. It's, good. it's full of church girls. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, fucking they hilarious. They literally talk about butt sex. Yeah. It's so funny. The, the whole premise of the movie is that this girl gets pregnant because she tries to have sex with her gay boyfriend to stop him from being gay <laughs> <laughs> because she was she was told to by jesus beca- because she banged her head in the pool and well, jesus jesus jesus, give it up. jesus was the pool guy that she like came to and saw him and she thought he was jesus yeah so she fucks her gay boyfriend but fucks him just after he was looking at looking at gay porn so. yeah 
by the way, Macaulay Culkin is in this shit. Home Alone Kid is like in this shit. He's uh, hilarious. No, what's the name of this movie? Saved. Wow, I gotta see it. it Mandy you, Moore's in it. It is probably one of the most underrated movies of all is it time. A comic movie or oh yeah, seriously horrible. Just, y- yes no, and yes, yes and yes. It it, is, it's it's kind of fucked up, but it's playfully fucked up. It's probably one of the funniest movies I've ever seen. It's so good. Yeah, there's. It's. I mean, it's not better than Pumping Iron, but it's good. It's actually better than, than pump, pumping, iron, but, pumping but, iron, but 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 we sure we, we we can't we can't convince Matt, and that's okay, it's okay. But there's that fucking great scene where the uh, fuck, the chick from Donnie Darko, the uh, dark hair, whatever. Um, Mandy Moore like hits her with the fucking Bible in the head, and she picks up the Bible and she goes, "This is not a weapon." Like, she just beamed her fucking head. Oh. I don't know. There's very few movies that rate in the top ten that don't have Arnold. <laughs> yeah. And that's one of them. Bro, what do you think about Last Action Hero? <laughs> oh my god, I fucking love that movie. Love it. I it's love it. Awesome. Especially when they go to the video store and they got uh, Sylvester Stallone as the Terminator. Yes. <laughs> and, <laughs> and, like, and Arnold was trying to pronounce his name like it's not his name. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, no, that's supposed to be you. And that. Is. <laughs> love it. I love it. I love all his movies. I'm gonna say that was that was underrated film because I watched that when I was a kid and I was like, "This is pretty fucking creative." Yeah. It was creatively written, and then everybody's like, "This movie's stupid." I thought it was fucking hilarious. It was great. The the dude with like the creepy eye, uh, Tywin Lannister from Game of Thrones. Yeah. Same guy. Amazing wow. British actor, by the way. Yeah. Speaking of that, but he he uh, really couldn't break into like you know, America. Yeah. Don't they have a new like series, um, like a space sci-fi shit coming out? I think with Arnold. Who has what? I say I think he's involved in a new Terminator project. No, I think the people that make Game of he Thrones, uh, HBO, and uh, George R. R. Martin. Huh. Some like space sci-fi shit. I don't know. I kind of like stuff like that. I'm a Star Wars person myself, but I'll watch some Star Trek. I mean, why not? Why not? You're a Wars guy. Wars guy. It, okay. dep- it depends. So. Like the new, actually, what was the se- that series that was four seasons of Star Trek? I think it was Enterprise. That okay. was really good. It was like really. It was linear. <laughs> that was. Uh, I hated that series. I'm not even gonna I, lie. I, I, I thought it was. I liked it because it was linear and it had more gore than the traditional. Not the new Star new Trek one. has gore. The one that was the like, Enterprise was a little. Like, I think it was like it was, 94 to 98 or some. It was shit. it was rough, a little more rough and tumble. The, the only thing yeah. I really liked about that one was, was that brutal. was the uniforms, because it you know it was before uh, the Federation started. It was like the story of how the Federation started, right? And they were wearing jumpsuits for uniforms, basically, like right. the same things pilots wear now. So it, it, yeah. I mean, it, it technologically made sense. Like it was mm-hmm. it was cool, but the thing I was disappointed about it with is that. They keep going backwards. They don't, they don't do anything new anymore. Like it's, I want to see what's what's a hundred years in the future from the Federation. Like, do they have like why? Why do they have like warp speed? Do they have like teleportation? Yeah. I they think they start out like in the in the series they go from like warp one to warp four, four point five and five. Oh, that, that's adorable. They, yeah, they like it. They actually go through that whole process of gaining higher warp travel as part of the show as part of the yeah they, they're the gaining line. technologies and stuff right. and but we can watch movies where they have better yeah of course and they just find like in the first season they find the Klingons for the first time the right. what the Klingons <laughs> like it's, it's it had its merits it definitely had its merits the theme song for the show in the beginning was horrible absolutely horrible like on the fucking <laughs> and like the forums people were like this theme song you should get, murder the guy drag him out into the street and shoot him like a fucking Jew in Auschwitz Germany in 1942 <laughs> <laughs> so, wow so, Jesus. Shoot, wow. so shoot him and then burn him yeah okay. right God damn. add him to the pile <laughs> where the fuck that come from when's our pizza coming Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But so I, I want to see a, I want to see a future show cuz like okay we had the original Star Trek, right? With Kirk and stuff. And then the next thing we had was a couple years in the future with the next generation. And then they just didn't go any further past that. It's like that's where the timeline ends. Like they we don't get to see another 200 years in the future. They couldn't imagine beyond that. 
there's there's so much to think about or what could happen. We've talked about it before on the podcast, the different oh, yeah. things that could happen. Uh, you had the amazing idea, um, was it Star Trek, like, Legends or... Yeah. yeah. Well, the, And then my other idea was we could have a show in the future of the Federation falling apart and, yeah. you know, and have, like, a captain who's, like, a libertarian and all about freedom and how he brings the Federation back together or something and, you know... The Viking is not paying attention at all. No, he's I am not. paying attention. He's texting. What? 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 Are you texting? Throw that away. There What's you go. her name? What's her name? Oh, it's, oh. It, it's her name is Anal. <laughs> 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 Fucking Christ, guys! I'm gonna ruin it for you. I probably have already been there. I I used to go to church. Fuck! <laughs> you guys are horrible. <laughs> you you listen to the podcast? You, no, you, I know. I'm just you sir, <laughs> you sir, we're forewarned. Wow. Yep. <laughs> Let me just fucking burn myself in my seat. So who's who's your favorite president? Oh, man. Favorite president. Uh, yeah, I'm going to say Kennedy. I kind of liked him. That's her favorite of all time? Yeah, because he kind of exposed, okay. like, the... Yeah, he's a Democrat, but he kind of exposed, like, the fucking Federal Reserve and that whole corrupt cabal and then got blasted the fuck and for wanted it. Yeah. To, and wanted to, like, shatter all these security agencies to the wind. And you can't do that, because if you do, you get through to the head. Yeah. Yeah, and they fucking just killed him. You know, that like f- flat out. Yeah. <coughs> I'm, I'm they dead. killed. They killed Lincoln too. Yeah, with a fucking quick one to the back of the skull. That was yeah. nice. You know, because so Mr. after Booth. <laughs> a- after they finished the whole Civil War thing, and he was talking about you know reconciliation and reconstruction and all that shit. Uh, one of his things was, and we're going to you know make this gold currency, and we're yeah. As soon as he said that, all those bankers were like. Fuck you. No. <laughs> Let's just give some guy a few bill mill. Bills mills. Yeah. A, ca- a card with an unlimited spending allowance. Yeah. Think yeah. of that. That'd be so nice. Card just never ended. I think, they ha- I think they have those now. Yeah. Amex I mean, I'll Platinum. never have one. <laughs> I think you have to run an Amex Platinum at like fucking up to 250K for several months or a couple of years, and then they may offer it to you. I mean, it's yeah. an invite-only kind of thing, but... What am I going to do with that, though? I don't, I don't really spend money. You'd have to be spending money for a corporation. Yeah. You know, just to even get the fucking invite. There's no personal individuals, at least that I know, spend 250k plus a year or a month, rather, on a card. Yeah, that's... Yeah. That's insanity, yeah. you know? I know a couple, and when they told me this, I about fucking shit my pants. Uh... They have fifty thousand dollars in credit card debt. Fifty thousand dollars in credit card debt. I have a buddy of mine. Yeah. What the fuck? Eighty. What What kind of fucking financial mismanagement have you fucking gotten yourself into? What the fuck? Like, stop spending money. Geo. <laughs> stop it. Stop spending money. Fuck. Like. It's bad. And then the interest rate rates are so oh, ridiculous. That's 50, 80 grand in credit card debt. You're fucked. You're going to be in debt the rest of your life. You just bought a fucking second and third house. Yeah. That's what that is. By the time you're done paying that shit off, $200,000, $300,000 minimum. Fuck. Like, that's fucking insane. I get like two on my card and I start being like, chill, dog. <laughs> Yo, yeah. I just don't like putting, you know, I mean, if it's a pricey item, then it goes on the card. Exactly. But. You know, so you got that, that buyer's buffer. protection. Yeah, the yeah. buffer. Um, but still. But even then, I don't like to carry it over at the end of the month. I'll, I'll Right, yeah, absolutely. Because I don't want to pay the interest yeah. on it. Fuck that. I don't, I don't want to pay money to spend money. I actually have a very nice card. Yes. Anytime I spend over $400, it's interest-free for six months. Nice. Starting from the point of purchase, which is fucking awesome. And then they're all like, That's six beautiful. months later, it starts carrying interest for each $400 plus. And I only put things about that much, so it's nice. That's beautiful. <laughs> yeah. I just... Uh, it's a Dodge card, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> Great cash back and all that. Provided by MasterCard. <laughs> it was beautiful. I actually had really good credit when we went to get my wife's car. Uh-huh. And uh, I was floating at like a, a 795, 800, somewhere in there. Yeah, so perfect. Yeah, yeah beautiful. And uh, we walked in there, and the finance guy's like, oh, you know, I got you uh, 3.5%. Which is still good. And I looked at him, and I was like... I pull out my phone, I open up my app, and I show my credit score, and I was like, bro, I know you can do better. Yeah. I don't want to pay more than two. 
Yeah, you can get me like a 1.9. I was like, I'm not paying more than two. And he and goes, your buy rate will be like a 0.5. And he was like, yeah, let me call him back. I was like, all right. And he comes back, I got 1.9. Like, you can't beat that's that. That's fair. I mean, a that's couple points on a, on a loan coming into a dealer, I mean, that's understandable, you know. Um, but at that rating, once you're at the 800 threshold, yeah, you should be looking for 1.9. or. They gave me the 1.9, and the t- they might as well have just given me it for free. Like, 1.9 ain't shit. That's right. beautiful. Well, I mean, you know, if you get a 0%, then you may well, you you may have, you may have forfeit your rebates, too. Yeah. And then that's the thing. You take your rebates, and then you get the best possible deal for your credit rating. Usually, they'll give you, like, a special rate, like a 0%, but you can't take any rebates. Yeah. You know, but if my rebates are four to $6,000 on that particular car, fuck that. I know the difference. Long game, taking my rebates now and just working the interest down. Fuck that. I'll take the rebates. Yeah. <clears throat> I did the same thing to get my car. I, I think had to I get th- it up there. And I wasn't even planning on getting that car. And uh, I had the credit update same fucking day. I was looking at it. My sales manager, we had a goddamn commission, fat commission check coming out. And he knew it. You know, he gets to see everybody's checks. So he was like, hey, hey, got a deal for you. <laughs> Text me at 445 in the morning before I'm going to the gym. Look at this deal. I'm fucking, you know, it's a Hellcat. So it's... Everybody wants one, even if you don't know it, or I'm not even shopping for the fucking thing. Yeah. You know, black on black, all black. It's fucking sexy as fuck. And uh, then when they went to run my credit and the thing, I had just paid off some shit, and I had paid a guy to rem- I had, like, one collection on my thing. Um, but the, f- the auto beacon is different from your credit card and just overall FICO <coughs> risk beacon, right? Yeah. And which goes more based off of your prior car loans and et cetera. And I've had a bunch of wild-ass shit before. They're all perfect pays. So when it came back, it came back as like an 821. <laughs> oh, shit. And, and so he ran my shit. It came back in eight, and he goes, fuck. And I'm like, what is bad? You know, because I was looking at Credit Karma and I was like, it's 740 something. That's I'm like, good, yeah. okay, that'll be, I'll, I'll get a decent deal, you know. And then when he, he looked at that, he's like, fuck, you're going to get car blanched tier one, whatever the fuck you want. And I was like, let's do this. <laughs> and I, like, Game that on. Was, that was the fucking trigger where I'm like, all right, I know I'm going to get an absolute perfect deal. Okay, let's, let's fucking go. And then like six hours later and a bunch of stress and nerves, you know, I actually got the thing done. I uh, didn't even <laughs> joy ride with anybody. I was like, no, fuck this. I'm stressed out from the whole process. I'm going home, smoke, <laughs> smoke myself retarded and go to sleep. I'll see you tomorrow though. When, uh, when me and my wife first got together, she had to get a new car and we both had terrible credit. Uh, like, Bad, bad credit because she had, she had racked up a bunch of credit card debt and then just didn't pay it. Yeah. So she had judgments. Oof. Yeah, and uh, and I just didn't have credit because I had never really bought anything. Right. So uh, we go to we go to get a car and we got like a I think we wound up getting like a seventeen or eighteen yeah. percent on on her car, which realistically we weren't going to get better than that because we didn't have fucking credit. So you got to pay the piper the first time, yeah. especially if you've been fucking around. Yeah. And I've told, you know, people that were prior clients and were buying cars are like, fuck, man, I know I can get it $100 cheaper. And you're like, yeah, but you never built your credit. You didn't do this. And, you, bro, you're getting a fucking tier two lease on a fucking $45,000 car and you got no credit, no history. Be thankful. Yeah. Yeah, you're going to pay 600 instead of 520 But you get a nice ass fucking whip and shut the fuck up. Pay your bills. And the next year you'll get a tier one or a really deep deal. But everybody pays the price the first time especially when they're lending you thirty, forty thousand dollars and you can't get anything decent for less than 35 40 grand nowadays yeah. everything nice yeah. you know of, of, of a nice cow where your neighbor's gonna be like that's nice it's yeah. gonna be forty thousand dollars at least yeah it's fucked <laughs> we're stuck fin- you know f- finances i think elude most people which is why ocasio cortez got elected <laughs> yeah, I mean, it just doesn't make fucking. It doesn't make fucking sense, you know. And then when you see an individual that does come in, no, and they, it and does they, make sense because I totally want to blow a load in that mouth. <laughs> of course, no. she's, she's cute as shit. <laughs> Can we all agree? Oh, absolutely. She's cute as uh, shit. I do have. I do have. I mean, before touching blow a load on that, that socialist mouth. Socialist mm, mouth. Yeah, yeah. Um, be sure to spread it around, though. Yeah, share with everybody. Yeah. Is it weird yet? No. Good. I'm okay with it. Let's let's <laughs> march to, let's march towards weird. <laughs> I like weird. We're talking about sharing her socially. Uh, yeah. With everybody. Socialist. Oh, shit. <laughs> I'm thinking that's me getting lit up. Uh oh. Is that the church girl? <laughs> the anal girl? Yeah. Hashtag anal girl. Jesus Christ. 
No. No. Anal I'm going to pray. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, my God. I'm just going to drive into the river after I leave this house. <laughs> no, not. <laughs> no, not. <laughs> You're going to bang that chick like, in the ass and then go drive it into the river. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And you're going to think about us the whole time you're doing it. No, I'm going, fucking, I'm going Dukes of Hazard straight into the first farmer's culvert I can find, bro. I'm literally <laughs> just going to fucking launch into the canal. He's adorable. Like, Thanks. Appreciate how it. are you so like, 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 like that he, self-deprecating? Like, yeah, how am I not married? That's a good question. That's not what I asked. No, but, no, no, uh, no, no. Don't yeah. get married. Write it out. <laughs> right. yeah. Said the married guy. I'd be, I, I'd be fucking bad at. I'm not fucking married. <laughs> no, no, he. Oh is. yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, no, his wife is just outside. Do you want to? I, I can open the door. Oh, I love my wife. <laughs> we, we I get... so want her on the podcast, but she will never. She'll find never me. come on here. And she... honestly, honestly, it, it's in her best interest. She'll never come on here. She refuses. I'm okay with it. She doesn't even <laughs> listen. To, she occasionally she'll listen to the show, but she usually doesn't listen. She allows me to hang out. Yeah, no, I no. have no idea why. <laughs> <laughs> I just remember, like, her, one of her mothers hit on me at your uh, reception. Yeah. I don't, I don't remember, I don't remember which one of them, but she's got like how many mothers? Uh, three. Okay, so one of them hit on me. She's got her, her birth mother, and then the first stepmother, and then now the current stepmother. Okay, Christ. they all they they all have brown hair, and one of them hit on me. Tell me where I'm wrong. Yes, that happened. Yeah. <laughs> oh, we got to go back. Funny. It's funny. Her, her, the first stepmom, I don't think is that uh, attractive. Uh, she kind of reminds me of Steve Perry. So okay. I, every time I hear Journey, all I can think about is Ew. her. Ouch. And it's funny because every time we go to her house and do dinner or whatever, all I can think about is <laughs> basketball. Like, Steve Perry. Steve Perry. Steve Perry. <laughs> Dude, we said no more journey psych outs. <laughs> <laughs> that is someone's head hitting the wall. <laughs> and it should have been gone. <laughs> this has been fun. This has been very fun. What's your, what's your dog's <laughs> name again? <laughs> My dog's name is Squeak. My dog's name is Peaches. My dog's name is Squeak because he's a little bitch. <laughs> She's a little bitch. From, <laughs> a little but bitch. from baseball. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I think we're going to call it? Yes. Yeah, we're good. All right. All right. Go fuck yourself. Uh, go fuck yourself. And uh, go to Snuddy's Winery. <laughs> Tell them you heard it from us. Yes, and uh, Miami Brewing. You forgot about that. Miami Brewing. Yes. And uh, 10 Ton Hammer. Yes, from Death Proof. Hi, Alger. Bye, Alger. Bye, <laughs> Alger.